Hi! Welcome to another Play With Me with Scizorin. These are very, very long videos, and uh, the purpose of these videos is generally we're going to do a new character. Um, they're usually on a budget, and a lot of the time I end up not using a tabula because I want to like show like how to do anything like cheaper. Um, so we can show the end result here of what this build's going to look like endgame. See ya later, yep. Okay, this is getting nerfed. See ya later, yep. See ya later, yep. So, this is a Grand Slam Impale build. Uh, it looks very strong. And the main reason, um, Endgame, this isn't going to be super budget. I mean, you... New Yee's playing it right now with like a 450 or a 500 PDPS 205 link. So that's pretty budget. Um, the only reason that I was like, you know what, let's actually play melee. It was because I found this in a heist and I was like, really, you're really making me play melee. So I'm basically forced into this. Uh, I, I also have a discharge play with me lined up, which technically should have been before this one, but I was just so damn excited to try this after seeing other people play it and having the mace. So we're doing the discharge play with me on Tuesday. I'll make a short video about that as well. Um, but let's go over what we're leveling with. And and for this series, I try to explain everything I'm doing a lot so that new players can learn while we're playing along. Um, so we have a limb split here that we're going to be using at level 13. We actually might be able to use this. I mean, I'll four link it, I guess. Um, we actually might be able to use this all the way um, until like 10. That's what uh, at least Sci TV and a few other people were doing. Um, other than that, like we're we're going to be using some like generic currency, like a few jewelers, chromes, etc. But generally, I try to use as little as possible while leveling, and I have like set aside some like low essences here in case we do need a new weapon, or we can see like the difference that makes, and a couple of orb of binding so I can get some like four links early on for um for leveling items. Uh, as far as uniques, we have uh, rapid expansion. It makes the ground some. I, I don't actually have a second one, but I think that would work too. Um, makes it like more of a radius. Uh, we have Lord of Steel and Lord of Steel. There's two. Or, there's three actually. Um, we have one here. This is like large AOE, which I think is probably what we're gonna end up using late game stuff for mapping. And then here we have this that does uh, more damage. So there are two different ones, and there's a third one too. They all have the same name though. Um, and they're all Viridian Jewels. Uh, we have a Belt of the Deceiver, which we're going to use at 20. Really, really good. And nearby enemies are intimidated. Makes that they take 10% more damage from melee or from attacks. Um, Meganor's Girdle, just really nice early on. Honestly, that, that could take you all the way to Act 10 too. And they're probably cheaper. I don't know. I don't know about prices. Um... As far as gems, I, I don't know if we have all the gems. Like, part of this is, these aren't, like, always, like, completely prepared. A lot of it is also about finding problems during leveling and solving them. So you guys can see what problems I run into. But I have Ruthless, Added Fire, Mame, Ancestral Warchief, which actually we're not going to be using any of the Ancestrals because they will be stealing Impales. Um, so we don't want to do that, actually, in hindsight. Well, I'll probably use Protector early until we go Impale. Ground Slam, Onslaught, Fortify... Melee Fizz, Second Wind, Seismic Cry, Intimidating Cry, uh, Impale, Flame Dash, and Smoke Mine. And we also need a Steel Skill. We need one Steel Skill just so we get the uh, Call of Steel ability. And then uh, as far as the POB, it's going to look something like this. This is Nugian's tree. Uh, and as you can see, this is what he's using. So he's using a 480 DPS weapon and he's one-shotting bosses too. This is on a 5 link. Um... So, yeah, it's, I mean, this is particularly good. And when looking for a weapon for this build endgame, honestly, I would look for as low attack speed as possible and instead look at the high end. So see that this weapon is 355 to 566 DPS. That's actually not that much um, lower than mine. Mine is 356 to 636. Even though mine's like a way better like P DPS, this is like really, really high top end for how slow it is. So a slow weapon can like very very easily beat other things um and then yeah so we we can link this but it's important that like, you need to have a splitting steel for the um the thing i don't think i'm gonna bother with a vol ground slam but uh we'll, we'll also like figure out what the four link is new is using a six link obviously with a tabula uh his character name 
I can't remember what I imported. Oh, Noogie baited by Ventura. So Ventura is like, a lot of people are copying him, and I think Ventura is copying Karn? Um, another thing I have as well is a Peru Ward with uh, Diamond Skin. This is more important for Hardcore than Softcore. It's just a, literally just 10% movement speed, and then um, the oils we're using is Teal, Sepia, and Clear, and that gives you Diamond Skin. Which is really nice because it gives you resist early on. Let's grab a second Quicksilver just for early. Quickle? Quickle Silver? Um, but yeah, generally very, very easy and accessible things. Can you show the mace again real quick? That one? Is on the tool size not viable? Should be. I don't have one. And uh, for, for this playthrough, alerts and stuff on Twitch are off. Let's see, we can go ahead and just buy Iron Rings here. Don't need to ask them or anything, just a little bit of fist damage early on. Put on some like Ori music or something, so we have some nice background music. Yeah, Rebel. As long as it's not Essence Strain. Not Essence Strain, you use ED, not Wither. Uh, I'll link, I'll link Face Spin in chat too. In Twitch chat. Try to remember to put it in the YouTube video. That's not necessarily like exactly what our uh, tree is going to look like though. Um, let's see. Is there any red gloves I can buy? I think it's some four links. There isn't. Okay, well hopefully. Please give me that. Let's just imagine that these were red so it would be easier to chrome. Actually, this should be fine. For early. I'm sure that's fine. We just have that there. So Still we're leveling alive, it. We? Uh, we can go grab a Rustic Sash. We could just go bonk. We could just Stay go sharp. bonk early and throw an alchemy on that. I don't have any like low level leveling weapons. Actually, the best thing we could do is just show the, the Rustic yeah. recipe. That's the best thing we can do. Uh, we'll buy two. One for me and one for the Bye. recipe. So if you, um, there's a recipe for weapons that you can do this. Is it really level 8? I didn't actually know that it was level 8. What's the blue one? What little help I can offer. Okay, right. So with a rare one, apparently it's minimum level of 8. But uh, yeah, you can do a blue one. And that gives it up to 42. We'll do that early. Oh, I do really want uh, to be red. We'll figure something out. We'll, we'll get a new weapon soon. There's not really many other like skill options you can do. See, I'll put this on my other screen just so I like, don't get lost. My memory is terrible. Um, Solo Gamer, thank you for the 19 months and coding, thank you for the tier ones up, and Smoking, thank you for the 5 months. There, let us proceed. I think we have everything. We have all the gems in my inventory, we should grab Protector with us. There, and we'll grab that. Awesome. Alright, it's bonking time. We'll grab things as we need it. The music is loud? Really? Not the most pleasant of arenas. Yeah, we can start the timer. For now. Timer. Oh well. I was gonna say we need to get dash, but we don't get that yet. I have smoke mine of time dash in my inventory. That's like the only thing I can think of that you need to buy from another character. Um, everything else we should get from like this character, I believe. Believe being the key word. Um, and if you're on trailing and you want to have a more like twinked out experience, there's like loads of unique axes you can do. You could do a limb split into a cauterizer. Until like until limb split, it shouldn't really matter much what weapon you're using. Um, you can use the um, the unique iron rings, black heart. Ironheart? I think I remember. Something like that. Um, you can use the toenail gauntlets. There's not that many good weapons. Or sorry, um, unique gloves early on anymore. Or rare gloves you can craft anymore. And then uh, as for a belt, you could use a Darkness and Throne. I don't actually have one. I love showing off Darkness and Throne. But I do not have one. I Even though I've killed like two liches. 
No way, I want to kill one dude. It just seems this new arena suits me. So I should do some Abyss and get one. They're very, very good because you could get um, Murderous Jewels with item level one. Dude, Ground Slam is such like... It's just so nice. I love it. Bonk. Get level four down here. I don't have to do Hail Rake for anything, I think. And like, if I need a gem from anything else, I would probably log on to a different character. Uh, and if you don't have a different character, then you'd kind of be stuck like waiting for the library. Which is not great, obviously. That is not ideal. We're gonna go grab Dash here, which if I had it already, I would not have to go back to town. I'm gonna try to make this like fairly quick too. Yeah, if you're in trade league, somebody in chat might be able to help you. Stay sharp out there. Stay sharp out there. There, we'll have a protector. We'll just shove that here for now. We can worry more about links later. We can grab a chest at some point pretty early too, because we do get Art of the Gladiator, which uh, makes that we don't get a penalty. Where's Dash? No music? Oh my god. I'll turn it back up. Better? Yep, this is going on YouTube. That's why I turn off alerts and stuff. May like slightly less annoying for the YouTube crowd, especially the people that don't give a shit about Twitch. Very, very nice punks. Can't wait till we get close to die rather well. Yes. I did die a lot this league. I'm gonna put a TP here. The reason I do that is that we can um like we don't have to do so much backtracking. Like then I can go back at the lower prison waypoint or the climb waypoint and do then. You should come over to Twitch. Well, I mean, it, it depends, right? It's just like a very, very different audience. On Twitch, it's like people that want to be part of a community and, and want to watch regardless. But uh, a lot of the people that watch on YouTube, they come for a very specific purpose. Sometimes they want to see like a bill guide. Sometimes they want to see, you know, usually it's like a specific purpose and that's why they're watching. Um... It's just different audiences. YouTube's going insane. Two million views in the last 28 days, though. Which is crazy. I'm very happy with that. Scry is doing an insane job. Your son Quinn died. F. Rest in peace. So right now, we don't have anything like crazy. It's pretty like mediocre leveling speed at the moment. We'll grab, like, a new weapon at level... Well, actually, I don't even know if we need a new weapon at 8. I guess we could do. Throw a contempt on something. I hate Earth Shutter. I don't like it. I don't like it. This is not my skill. I've never liked it. Oh, you know what? I should have bought Blood Rage. Blood Rage is so nice. Probably end up using precision as well. I'm pretty sure we get that. Oh, nice multiple. That's awesome. Uh, he ripped his uh, impulsive character. If I die on mine, that's why I'm playing it so little until I get really good stuff. I would be very sad because that like, impulse is so rare. No, this is not AD Contagion. I do have a AD Contagion build though. There, we can put on Career Ward, making it slightly faster. That's the only thing it does. Um, I think there's a replica Career Ward that has... Is it AoE damage and AoE radius? If so, that'd be awesome for this. Uh, so if you do have a replica Career Ward, that'd be perfect for leveling this. I could have had one, but I didn't grab it, which I definitely should have. Like, that'd be insane, actually. I would love that. I wish I had one. Wait, what even gave me shards? Removes impaled, but but I don't have impale. What what did I even get shards from? Wait, no. Defend level really? No. It's to be a cage fight then. 
I don't have a way to level with that. Helmet and Chan, maybe. Alright, let's see. Farewell. I don't need any of this. We already have everything. Take care. I hate you, dot mods. <laughs> so much. Alright, let's see. We'll just grab uh, a level 8 mace. I tried talking to that mod so much earlier and it just never Farewell. replies. That was fun. If they had, I'd cry. What's even the worst contempt? Is it muttering? Do I even have the worst one? No, it's whispering. I don't even have that. So actually, Cam did the last one. You know, I'll just throw an elk on it and, and get a really good one. That's like, honestly, the best thing you should do in games. Just like get it on the first try. Hello. Um, That's Goodbye. what I recommend. Just be lucky. And if you're being unlucky, try being luckier. Um, honestly, it like, changed my like outlook on games in general. I don't have a mana fast. We live, we are blessed. Something, I don't have this and I might have to make one, but something that's really, really nice for leveling um, is getting a um, a jewel with mana leech. Like mana, physical damage leech as mana over time. No, I mean, it just hit this. I could have just used the, the, the recipe. I'm level 8 now. Not that fog. One, get good. Two, be lucky. Yeah, pretty much. Honestly, it takes you very far. Just be lucky, lol. Bonk. Can't remember what level we actually unlocked the slams. Do we have one already or is that a 12? It might be a 12. I don't play melee that much. So this is like a nice discovery journey for us as well. So um, while watching this, you'll see that I don't do like every side quest. There's only like some that I do. Let's see, we can chrome this for like three red. Uh, and then we'll have that at 12. Wait, we gotta cry level one? Which one? Oh, but it's not any of the good ones. Okay, we get Intimidating at 10. How does Impale work? It sort of like stacks up, and especially as champion, starts adding flat fizz per Impale. Um, it's it's insanely strong. We're going to be going... Well, I want, I want to take Art of the Gladiator. Feels very good early, and then we'll rush straight for the Impaler. Blood Rage is good too. That's level 16. It's a dead end. But yeah, we're only going to be doing, uh, like, we're not going to do every side quest and stuff. There's no point in that. We'll do, like, skill point quests and then skip everything else. So you'll be able to see what quests that I normally do. And we'll try to go at a fairly decent pace. Um, and I'll try to rush through just so that the YouTube VOD isn't super long. Because, um, like, if I go slow, they end up being, like, six to eight hours. And I try to keep them under four. Ideally. Yeah, we should get there around level 31. Should be around perfect timing. Around perfect timing. Medium mana fast. Pog. And then early on, we don't wear a chest because it slows us down. Somebody's now wearing a chest and going, I'm wearing a chest. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the end of the world. It's only like 3, three or 5%. I never remember. I just remember chest equals slower. I recognize Generally, you'll see most racers won't wear a chest until... Well, I mean, if you grab this node, then it doesn't matter, obviously. Uh, but uh, a lot of racers won't wear a chest until like a 4 link. Same reason a lot of people don't use a tabula until like level 18 or 31. My bonk is better than your bonk. Oh, oh, poor totem. He almost killed my totem. That, like, <laughs> Skill beats. reprehensible behavior. You'll see a lot of racers also, like, log out when killing bosses. Um, and if you saw at the start of the uh, Brutus fight, so that I was, like, moving not in at a straight arm towards him, but, like, slightly to, like, at an angle. And that works with a lot of bosses in general. Um, 
you'll yeah, notice like very very quickly that most bosses in Path of Exile, as long as you're moving at a decent like angle like that, they just can't do anything. And like moving around bosses in like a counterclockwise circle as well is incredible how much defense it offers you. Um, a lot of deaths you'll notice that people are that when people die to bosses, it'll be when they're doing a boss fight for the first time. They're not 100% sure how to do. Oh, actually, yeah, I should have War Banner. I should go buy War Banner and explain how it works. This is actually really good for bosses. Bonk. So nice bonking. I haven't bonked in a while. Sometimes when you haven't bonked for a while, you just miss bonking, you know? Bonk. Bonk, bonk. But yeah, no, mobility in PoE, very, very, very strong. You'll notice when I'm doing, like, Awakener and stuff, obviously not on the Righteous Fire character. There, I'm literally just standing there. Um, but, um... Depending on the boss, like clockwise or counterclockwise. Depends on its attacks, which you sort of learn just by doing it. Like, for example, it makes a very big difference on Hillock. You can practice auto attacking him to death. It's actually a really, really good practice for, for getting used to how important movement is in PoE. Because if, um, I can't remember which direction now without seeing him. I'm pretty sure you have to move clockwise. Um, but if you move counterclockwise, he can hit you. If you move clockwise, he can't. Once you, like, get the movement down. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure that's the way. We'll go here and we'll grab this. Kind of want 13 before my mail, just to like limb split on her. Limb split is so nice. I can't do and then, uh, if you have the prophecy to upgrade a cauterizer, that's insane. I, I just hate Earth Shutter. I don't like it. I don't like the skill. Did one or a shutter character and I just detested the skill. Alright, let's see. Time for one skill point. You don't actually need to kill that thing either, by the way. There's a there's a few things in PoE, same with like in Act 6. Um, in Act 6, you also don't need to kill, like, the, uh, there's a side quest where you get a amulet or a jewel or something. And you don't need to kill that thing either. You just need to pick up the, oh. Weird layout. Oh, I guess it's straight down. I guess we'll just go here then. Excellent. Pains me too. How long you take now, Fair Graves? So the steel skill, call of steel, the way we're going to be using it later um, is we're going to be, uh, we'll be going full impale and because of the uh, the node, the impaler, where is it? There. The impaler is basically going to be um, impaling nearby enemies as well. And um, when we pull it in, it's just kind of like, it's like you're, you're like basically, you turn into Magneto. You just rip it out of them and then it does loads of AoE damage and you just clear the entire screen basically in one shot bosses. No, I haven't tried that Arturius. There, we'll just grind up to level 13 real quick. Well, moving to Mervail. Oh, we can do, um... Smoke Mine. We'll put that there for now. And then Flame Dash, we'll put... I don't have enough in. We're not smart enough. That's annoying. I guess we'll own you Smoke Mine then. Um... So, it's always faster to detonate it yourself. But if you're lazy, and um, I, I do this a lot myself, you can do detonate mines on mouse button 1. There's always like some delay uh, when doing that. But then it's basically, as long as you're... The, the way this works is any any instant skill can be on mouse button 1. You can do, use this with like, steel skills. You can use it on war cries once you have the instant war cry notable. Um, and it'll just be like basically auto casting. So technically, because of this, you have access to one auto cast in Path of Exile. You can do Immortal Call, 
anything that's instant works there. Obviously, you could have Warcry's there even if they're not instant, but then you're pausing all the time, and that's really annoying. And nobody wants that. Well, some people want that. Um, the reason why there's a bit of a delay, I think, is um, do it probably isn't like picking it up all the time, and you can't have this on. The reason you can't have this on is because this refreshes every zone. So you'll see that it's on now, but now it's off. So that's annoying. I think it would be probably be smoother if you could have always attack without moving on. So that's annoying. Yeah, Enduring Cry is a really good like left mouse button click when you have the instant work cries. There's a lot of nice things with it. A lot of people do Immortal Call, uh, Steel Skin. Like it depends a little bit on your character, what you have and what you need. But uh, there's, a, there's a lot of good uses for it. I wonder what gives me charge when I don't... Can I just always... I don't know. It looks cool though. It's like MTX. Let's see. That's my rail. So I just want to get level 12 real quick so I can like one-shot her with limb split. There we go. Uh, there. Let's put you down here. You want onslaught. You can keep some up fine here, I guess. Um, wait, actually, I probably don't want to ruthless this early. We can just put that down here. Excellent. Vile double strike, by the way, is... Do I need time to bleed? Would be nice to level it, so we can just do this. Um, while, while double slam, while double strike, sorry, it's actually a really, really nice ability for leveling. Does it scale? Well, very. Uh, let me just grab the skill points. We don't have to come back to town later. I don't know. I, I Everyone seems to be using ground slam. Maybe the multiplier is higher on ground slam? 124? I don't know. Maybe the multiplier is higher. Whether you don't like... I think... I think... Earth Shatter gets most of its power from using the War Christ. Whereas on this you want to use the War Christ before combat and then one shot. Any... You should always be leveling... Um, I, I normally do this when I... Oh, I could have had War Christ. I normally do this when I... Um, I have slots for this? I think we could just like leave the Protector... And then do Christ instead. Intimidating cry. Oh, size makes 16. Um, sorry. Yeah, so you should always be leveling with um, six gems in your offhand because they get the same XP. You're not getting less XP on any of your gems. They're just, it's just better. It is just more better. Custom has the highest base damage. Okay, cool. Yeah. And also, like, yeah, with uh, with this build, the way you want to do it, you want to, like, uh, do all your shouts before going to the boss, hit it, and then use Call of Steel, and that'll one-shot the boss. That's how we're going to be playing later. Nice. Instant. Nope, not even instant. There. Yeah, I think. Seismic should have one charge left and then use Intimidating Cry and Slam Insta Kill. Yep. And then you get crazy, crazy damage. Um, we can have a chest now. So we can just find an armor chest and throw a binding on it. I mean, I guess hybrid's okay. There, now we have a nice spoiling chest there. Um, but I could have put the Ancestral in that I just threw out. Oh, double strike would work too. I don't think. I mean, we could show it off actually because it is pretty cool. We need an extra green somewhere then. Um, okay, you know what? We don't even need it. But all double strikes are really, really nice. Is ground sound good without the weapon you have? Yeah, so I showed the weapon Noogie was using. That was just 490. That showed at the start of this video. Um, and it's important to like look for just like. It doesn't matter if it's slow, slow is actually good. Obviously, it doesn't feel the best while like mapping and stuff, but slow is actually really good for this. Um, and then you um, you just get uh, what do you call it? Crazy, crazy damage on bosses when you have slow, high damage weapons. Sure.
Should have been here at the start, CEO. Let's see. Everything gets explained at the start. If not, other people have to explain to you if you're late. And then remember we're doing a play with me discharge on Tuesday as well. So here, always also important to remember to pick up the waypoints of things that you're going to be going back to. Always pick up the waypoints of things you're going back to. So we're going to go here now on the right side and we're going to go do uh, Fidelitas first. A place of soil and then we'll get Herald of... We'll use Herald of Ash yeah. and uh, Purity early on. Dude, Sam's just feels so good early. I want to get the um, the plus one exert skill too pretty early, which I don't remember where he is. I'm starting to think there's more to life than prize or Put that on there. Let's see, two more levels, one more level to size me. Right now we have intimidating, which is just two, and then later on we can have it with a plus one mace and uh, exert on the skill tree. We can have four intimidating cry hits. So the only reason we're, we're, we're only using any steel skill. We only want call of steel. We're actually not using a steel skill. We're only using a steel skill for call of steel. Not for like splitting steel or anything like that. Let's see. Can I get int anywhere without taking that stupid int node? Not really. What's the best way to farm chaos? So many. But like generally when... I. If you like, say, like, you know, level uh, purity of fire gem to 21, then loads of people start doing that and it ends up being worth less. Light maps is really good. Depends how many people are doing them. You'd like, you have to like scout around and find things that aren't being used as much. Do you think perma phrase RT armor is getting cut soon? No, not middling. Very rarely, if ever. I, I would be very surprised if they nerfed anything this late middling. Chaos Recipe is like the number one thing you want to avoid generally. I never ever do Chaos Recipe. You have to do it like insanely fast for it to be worth your time. And it just drains your sanity. And it is horrible. Let's see, I think we are able to pick up Golem's Blood and still hit Impaler at 31. So let's do that. A little bit more life early. True, it is very, very good exit chaos. I would still never do it. I would still never do it. I can't do this just yet. Now it makes sense to do it. Chaos orbs are so valuable in software trade. Right, but even when exalts are 30c on hardcore, I've never done chaos recipe. They've been 15c and I never did it. I hate chaos recipe, it's horrible. You can just get so much more currency but in other ways. Boss killing. To be fair, boss killing isn't worth much on software, I guess. Sucks. There, now we get seismic. I'm trying to remember, how early do we get support for war cries? We can probably start using those already. Because they've added loads of new support since our last plane. Yeah, so the game here. What time do I usually stream? At the moment, I'm starting around 5 a.m. my time and then streaming for around 12 hours. Highest is much more efficient than Chaos Recipe? Probably. Um, do I have both already? Let me throw those on. I actually don't need dash anywhere here. Let's see. There. This is going to be great. Something feels really good about that, to be honest. Your mind wasn't as swift as your blades, bridge rat. Throw on one of my other better quicksilvers. It's easier on a low level one, fishy. Hello. But ask when we're not doing a play with me, and I'll, I'll help you with it. Let's see, we can probably get. Ooh, actually, we can probably get a jewel. That would be even better than life. I don't need life. And we can throw in the ground some jewel already. The ground some so fun, dude. It should be. I'm excited. Oh, actually, we could have blood rage already. We could have blood rage now. What what level is the uh, support gems for um, Warcrys? 
Does anyone remember? I think there's one. Is there one in Act 1 already? Or are there only 31? There's one that makes you like cast them faster, which is nice when you don't have instant. Second win? No, that's 31. I meant the uh, the Warcry ones. Oh, and I've completely forgotten Warbunner. Warbunner is actually really, really nice. We can show that up for Weaver. What's the what's the Warcry the support that makes you like cast them fast? Urgent orders. What level's that? Let's go by Warbunner, and we'll turn on uh, Purities now. Thirty-one as well. Oh, I didn't know it was that late. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let me try this now. See how it feels. Um. You guys can see my rapid expansion. Oops. There, we'll do War Banner. Oh, I actually don't have enough int, really? That is unfortunate. What's the earliest I can um, craft in? Oh, that's also my thing for the $3. Uh, Rax is thank for the eight months, and Hiku, thank for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, thank you. An alert are off for this. Be well. There. Let's see. We can just throw Alex on those. We just want to have one with an open suffix. Or if we hit int, would have been great. There. Let's go see. Oh, actually, we did hit int. Excellent. Excellent. Now we can use. Uh, and, and if you can't hit int, I'm pretty sure. What's the lowest level you can craft int? Level 12. So you can just craft int on something for one og. Um, to, to fit that. Now we're going to put on purities. Um, whenever I'm clearing maps, I do like a pretty rough clear. I don't, I don't like clear everything. There, we'll turn on the purities. We'll turn on war banner and war banner. You can keep on your bar. Let's see. And we can use flame dash now. We cannot use flame dash now. We're three in short. That is... Tilting. I'll have to actually go craft. And we are also going to be killing all the bandits for this. An enduring mana flask feels really, really good while leveling. Um, but then, if you don't have that, you can just get like physical damage leech. Wait. Oh, it's there. And I click mouse button five. Hey, one hit. Nice. Hit a skill point here. Uh, then we can just go back to the waypoint. Truth, or you don't get um, crazy man though. Not played spell breaks instantly, no. Spell breaks awesome though. Divine the ring? No, we are gonna go. Uh, we can't actually craft on anything either. I have no suffixes. That's terrible. You know what? Hello. Good goodbye, sapphire ring. You're being replaced. Be well. Just because I want to be a smarter marauder. It's worth one augment. There, it can just stay blue. There. That's all we need. You're being replaced. Hi, Einar. Cool. So now I can use Flame Dash and then we can show how I normally level. I end up, and, and, and a quick tip, obviously remember that we do have the new bar, which you can hold control down, but you can rebind everything in your second bar. Like you don't have to hold control in W. Right now you can see Flame Dash isn't on my bar, but it still works on mouse button five. Um, Yeah, dual is not Marauder. You're right. So that's like a nice tip that uh, people seem to forget about. So you can rebind everything there in the options. There, and then um, the weaver is always on the opposite end of the waypoint. So we know here that the, the forest is going to be here. Need more intelligence to remember the class. I'm trying to think, how many? Let's see. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'm actually going to go for the mana leech early. I can't be bothered, like, looking through my, um... I can't be bothered, like, looking through and seeing if I have a fist damage leech as mana. And uh, I know not everyone's going to have one lying around. So we'll just do the, uh, we'll take the, the mana on the skill tree. Now we're level 18, so we can get new support gems. So generally, the way I level... 
Um, if you'll see that we'll do smoke mine and then flame dash right after. Especially if you're able to, oh, this is even better for like witches, templars, etc. Where you can get some like cooldown recovery. But um, like on movement skills I mean. But it ends up being very fast. You end up getting the um, movement speed from the uh, smoke mine and then your uh, flame dash goes really far. So it ends up being very, very good there. So we're going to try to one shot here. Even though she does get the, she does get the resist. Is that... Oh, that's uh, intimidating. Hold on. So we're going to hit there. And it's wanting to start there and there. And then we're going to drop War Banner and... No! Okay. Well, I guess that we could have waited a few seconds until she didn't have a resist, actually. So the way that works with the uh, War Banner, when it has 50 charges, you're getting... Um, uh, what's, the, what's the thing actually called again? Adrenaline? Yeah, you get like max adrenaline. Which is pretty cool. Or a spider. Warcrys are actually like really fun to level with. Where are citadels? Right, let's see. And we can grab melee fizz and we can replace we can replace added fire with melee fizz. I think that's all. Mame is fine. Mame is fine. We don't have any other skill that we're using right now. We don't really need anything else. Now we'll go do a Lyra. Three shot reroll. I know, dude. I can't do this just yet. Oh, and I keep forgetting Blood Rage. Poor Alira is about to get slammed. Ow. It's hard to cast a spell with a blade in your Let's see. Right, let's grab Blood Rage. It's just nice for leveling. Not everybody likes it because you um what do you call it? You DJ, but I like it. He's nice. The two tap. Alright, Mariki. Yeah, apparently Twitch is crushing though, I don't know. There. And you can see where you're going by like following, like you see like the road here or the remnant of the road. Will this build have really good clear speed to mass? It should have okay clear speed. It should be insane for bossing. It'll like it'll one shot bosses. Which is really, really nice. It is completely fun to uh, one-shot bosses. Alright, here we go. And like, even now, like, now we don't have, like, this is just crown slam with, sh uh, with sh shouts at the moment. It's already, like, pretty fun to level now. And and this weapon, we'll, we'll use it for as long as we can. We might use it all the way to Act 10. Like, it might be completely fine to Act 10. And uh, we can we can throw some contempts on something if we need to. Probably don't. I know at least on a tabula, everybody else was just using a limb split tank ten. They're like, eh, don't need anything else. Which is pretty cool. There, we'll go grab the leech so that we can drop our mana flask pretty early. Um, for your movement skills, you could end up putting those on uh, blood magic. If you feel like you're going too far without killing something and leeching. Don't even notice the Blood Rage T-Gen. Only Marauder things. Well, Melee, Duelist, you know what I mean. And no, Sunder is way worse. Way less of an angle. You're not going to get to uh, Impale as much. If things are like too far away, they're not going to get Pro Lift on. Crown Slam has a really good angle and AoE. You wish I had the career reward for leveling though, like a, a replica one. I'd have so much AoE right now. Couldn't you just use them so until you get that mace? Yeah, it's level 70, so it would be for the entire campaign that I use this. Oh, I guess this is like default 4. Cool. Just looks really cool. They don't do anything right now. I'm not using it. Whoop. 
Something really, really like satisfactory with like shouting and then one shotting things. It's gonna be even better in game. I can't do this just yet. And because of the mace I'm using, since we're gonna be able to get like the 30% more um damage because it's what is it? 30 30% more damage per exert used or something on seismic. Do you see that it goes like bigger each time on each exert? And then the last one's very big. Um, we get two more of those. We're going to get one from the tree and we're going to get one from the mace I'm using endgame. So that'd be really nice for extra boss damage. Hey Phil, what's up? 30 damage and AoE. Yeah, it's, it's really, really nice. Uh, let's see there. So now we have all the skill points so far. We've like picked up the way forward. Like we haven't done the side quest there. Do remember if you need your trials, you might as well do it now. You're not really saving much time by like doing it later. So you might as well do it now. Ooh, massive shine. Look at that slam. Last one, boom. Probably end up using Fist of War as well or whatever it's called, like the the extra oh we don't have all the skill points so far now we do the end of learning, the end of learning. there and now we can grab that that should actually be enough even without the other one we should not need much like mana potion stuff anymore doesn't hurt to have it there for the like, leap some and stuff but yeah, you can see it's like leeching pretty good good stuff And that could also be solved by getting a jewel that has a uh, physical damage leeched as mana that you don't necessarily need um, to pick up those skill points. I just didn't want to look and see if I had one. I could just take those skill points and I know not everybody watching will have a jewel like that. They are very cheap though. It's just like search for like physical damage leeched as mana. Um, there and we don't need more so we'll go straight for the impaler now. Yeah you can use Vulgar on some too. Yeah, if you craft Grand Slam, you get Val Grand Slam. It's like a 1 in 6 chance or something. You don't get it every time. It's surprisingly fast to level Grand Slam. Well, actually, surprisingly slow, seeing as we're 39 minutes, but... We've also been, like, stopping and showing things, and we've done all the skill points. And, like... You could, if you want to, you could use Leap Slam. Um, the really, really nice thing about using both uh, Smoke Mind and Flame Dash is every movement skill now is instant whenever you, the first time you use it, as long as you haven't used another recently. So you'll see if I'm using Flame Dash now, the first one's instant, but the second one has a cast time. I can't do this just yet. And we sort of bypass that by Smoke Mind because um, it's when you throw down the Smoke Mind that the timer starts. That's why it ends up being so fast using both. You're basically getting free double instant. This is like 0 0.3 or 0 0.4 second cooldown on the instant cost. And here with Ival Double Strike, you could use that too. Oh, I stunned him. I stunned him out of his slam. Smoke mine on space fire. Crafting bloody mean soul of steel. That's awesome. Whoops. I went to the wrong place. There. And then we're just slamming our way. And yeah, once we uh once we get the impaler and impale, it'll be uh it'll be really, really nice. That's a 31. And then we should be one bonking everything. Me shout, me strong. Let's go. Very, very funny bonk skill. I was very impressed when I saw people playing this. I was like, holy shit, that looks strong. That's why we like sped this up instead of doing this later. Nice, Phil. 
The instant CD cast, casting of the skill, I don't think it applies at all to smoke mine. I think smoke mine is just mine throwing speed. Maybe, but either way, you do technically get two instant skills with this. Whereas, uh, like, for example, if you're using Leap Slam right now as your main skill, uh, you're either relying on having high attack speed, or you have that your, um... Uh, or you have that your, uh, Leap Slam is, like, fairly slow. I actually don't need that beast. I do need beasts, though. Like the yellow ones. I always end up running out of yellow beasts. That's what I need the most. Because, like, generally, especially on solo self on best theory is, like, the best thing you can spam. Or, in, I mean, in trade league, too, obviously, because you can sell them. But, um, I just end up running out of the yellows. Can we get enough? It's RNG, the steel jewels. Like, you just have to drop them. I've dropped, they're very common. I've dropped, like, I think at least two of each steel jewel now in SSF. So, I'd say they're very, very common. Whereas, like, I haven't dropped one Ellie hit jewel. So weird, like not having the cooldown recovery. Me strong, me bunk, pretty much. We only have 46 in. Not very smart, but we are very strong. 200 strength already. Doesn't Limbs play have something with strength? Yeah, Gore Shockwave on melee hit. Because we have so much strength. I can't do this just yet. In a pre bunk. That somber expression doesn't become those fetching features at all. Cheer up and dance with me. I did a little. I like. I'm. I'm never gonna get used to the new like the the ninety percent damage reduction bosses have for the first. Is it two or four seconds? Something like that. I can't remember. But bosses have like a crazy damage res. See you. Be careful. Nice, excellent. Yeah, we're just gonna keep bonking. I suppose thinking a dead POB to this build. Really? I oh, know, mods, can you check it? You're probably just not using the community for it. Yeah, it feels really good leveling with this already. And yeah, I can totally see this like working all the way until uh, Act 10. And generally, they, uh, the, the play with me is we, uh, we end. Especially when it's a character I really want to play. We'll end them around... Um, we'll end them around um, like level 70 to 80. And then I'll like uh, ignore the budget. And just, you know, obviously I'm a soul self and there's nothing I can buy, right? So I'll just be using what I have. And since I already have a weapon, I don't really have much of an interest in, like, intentionally crafting a mediocre weapon. The only thing that could be tempting is to get a Karu Chopper or something that like, even slower than mine and try to get a weapon with, like, 700 top-end damage. Because that would be better. Specifically for this build, it's not always just about having, like, the most DPS. It's about, um, having as high top-end damage as you can. So, like, the, the slower is better. We're on our way to Impaler. Then at 31, I'll be logging on a different character and buying like the support gems I need, like Urgent Order, Second Wind. Should be great. I'll have that in our chest. Bonk. Right, I need some yellow beasts. Faster, please. I'm just curious. Wouldn't switch stuff or anything, pretty much, but. Yeah, Resultus Coil would be awesome for this build, which is sad because I had one on Soul Self on last league. I'm definitely not getting one this league because they're incredibly rare. So that would have been very nice. I don't want Brutal Shrine. There, we'll go back for the skill point later. I always try to like minimize how much time I spend in town. Um, that is like, honestly, what slows down people the most is... Um, I remember the way I used to play, I would have like constant gear upgrades because I was like, oh, I want to go fast. So I have like a gear upgrade for level 20, level 30, level 40, 45. 
And I'd constantly be going back to town, rearranging my gear, going like, yeah, I'm going so fast, dude, because I'm keeping my gear up to date. Um, but you, you save so much time by like never doing gear upgrades. Like that is always going to be the fastest thing. Most people just like spend way too much time in town. And also as a, like, uh, a quick like where you should be at what level. Um, where you should be at what level. Like generally you want to enter docks uh, at level 23 and a half or later. If you enter earlier than that. Like say you're a player that's like new to like trying to go fast and speed running. Entering at like level 22 or something. That ends up being like a really bad detriment to your level. Um, it was like it's one of the hardest things to learn I find. Also we can switch to this now. Helps us with resist as well. Probably do lose some damage on this actually. But uh, that's just tooltip. Like, um, here's a good lesson. Like, uh, so with the Mega Norse, we have 670 DPS, but uh, now we have 630, but we are dealing more damage because the nearby enemies are intimidated, isn't counted in your tooltip. So it's important to not always just like blindly go by what your tooltip says. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Average viewer that's watching this is probably still the next one. Right, but it's it's not about being exactly as fast or where I am right now. Uh, I just want to go fast so that it's um, easier to follow and like easier to skip through the video. And then this time we're going to try like, doing better timestamps and stuff for the video as well. For you too. It seems there's glory in the old empire yet. So I just, I generally just try to rush through as, uh, as much as possible. I feel like that's like a lot better. The shorter I can make the video, the better. So I try to not take breaks and stuff during this. Oh yeah, sorry. So why it is a detriment to enter at level 22 is because of the way XP works in Path of Exile. So you see in the top right here, it is monster level 27, whereas Dox is 29. So if you're under leveled, say you are level 22 at this point, you want to go um, Solaris Temple first. Because it has the lower monster levels, so you'll get more experience. And if you're wondering how monster level works in Path of Exile, um, you're getting full XP on zones 3 above or 3 below. So, for example, if I'm level 10, then I'll get full XP uh, at level 13 zones or level 7 zones, right? And this number changes as, you, uh, as your character levels. So every 16 levels, um, that goes plus 1. So at level 16, you would get full XP in a level 20 area. But that means that if you are, say, level 16 in a 23 area, you'll be getting like 50 or 60% of the XP. So it is important to stay within like at least, um, depending on your level, 3 to 5 levels. What's up? How about that? I can't do this just you may go. There. Leave me. Not a cop. Awakeners Unleash? What's Awakeners Unleash? So that's why Tai Tai said you want to be three levels lower than map level? Yeah. And like later on, it's okay to be four levels too. But like I noticed something like when I was um when I was very new to speedrunning, I noticed very quickly I was able to keep up. I was like, wow. Um wait. Did I screw something up? Oh I did. I did I went one too far. We can take the impaler already, but it doesn't do anything until 31. So we need to start filling in, um, we'll probably take the Impale nodes early on. Yeah, we'll take the Impale nodes. Chance to Impale, that's what we want early. Sorry, um, I noticed very quickly I was able to keep up with racers uh, when, I, when I was very new to it. I was like, wow, I'm like, I'm in the same area. But then I noticed there were three levels higher. And that's like one of the harder things. Look at that damage resistance. There we go. Should be over now. And then soon 
We are 31, and then we have the damage. This one. If you want to do me melee desire. This one's really good. Um, Essence Strength Contagion is the strongest build, full stop. For starters. And then Blade Blast Bite Falls really good too. Really wanted to get 31 before Piety, just so I could one summon her. I think that would feel great. Whoop! This is, uh, we're making a, a long play with me right now. So this is going to be like a six hour how to start off this build, and then we'll make a, a build guide for it later on. Yep, we'll be using Call of Steel. I'll try to avoid answer questions that I covered at the start of the video and then maybe people in the audience can help answer the ones that I have answered earlier. Like that one. Um, so we're gonna you go kill- rather well. Yes. Yes I do. We're gonna go kill Piety and then we're gonna kill Dominus and then we should be 31 at least. Might be 31 before Dominus. We get uh, Impale, and we get Urgent Orders, and we get Second Wind. We get quite a lot of 31. Wait, I should be using Precision right now, because I'm pretty sure... Wait, how am I chance to hit 100? That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Chance to crit 100 right now, too. I have a Diamond Shrine. <coughs> huh. I wonder if I can get there in time. Nah, 30 seconds. I can't do this just yet. Why do people use wands for seals like Blade Vortex? Why wouldn't you? Gotta remember, like, if it says, for example, 89% increased physical damage on a two-hander or something with, uh, with, uh, uh, like, uh, an axe or a sword or a mace, like, that, if you have 160% increased physical damage, that doesn't increase the physical damage of Blade Vortex. That's only, like, physical damage that you're attacking with the weapon. But I bet you there are probably people out there that are playing physical based skills and using weapons with high physical damage and wondering why they're doing so little damage. Because that isn't really explained very well. So you've chosen to end our affair, Jules. I shall cherish your memory. No, where do you go? Don't make this easy on me. I'm not trying to. There. Ideal Lord of Steel rolls. Um, higher reflect damage. Higher reflect damage. I mean, both of them would be great. Remember to pick up the skill point here as well? I always forget no. the piety one. There. We have swift skewering now. So we can impale. Um... I mean, we we could we could take the uh, impaler already. We just don't have why the impale support standing? to him yet. Tell him. Why are you still standing? Uh, we can grab position later. Well, actually, I can grab it now so I can have it at a low level without using a regret on it. No, Phil. Oh, nice, Mister T, for fun. Hello. Hello. Let's see. While we live, we are blessed. Have that there. Well, it depends. We're going to be using two different ones. We're at, we'll have one for single target and one for farming and doing maps and stuff. So the AOE is the one we're going to be using um, probably later for mapping. And then we can use the uh, reflect damage one for leveling and stuff and one-shotting bosses. Is it serious axe and endgame option? Yeah, just very much fine. And generally during these, I try to talk less to chat than normal as well. Let's see, so now, and we're still using this like level 13 weapon. We're going to see just how long we can use this. We should be about to get a huge damage spike. Huge damage spike once we, once we get 31. And doing library would be good right now as well. If you don't have a character, like a separate character that can buy things. Courier Chopper is a very, very good one in game. Climb the tower. Can't remember what the top end of a disfavor is, but 
I feel like I feel like most uniques in Path of Exile got nerfed so hard. They really hate uniques and want uh, rares to be like the number one thing you use. What's my resist? Oh, we're capped. Good. Really helps to have diamond skin while leveling. And then later on, this should be like a really, really strong boss killer that you should just be able to one-shot bosses. Be really fun if with Optimized Gear you can one-shot Awakener. Or phase Awakener. I mean, definitely on software. No, never got it. Oh, nice. Can I... Hmm. Are they impaling already? No, not not enough. I hate proxy shields. It's like the worst thing in PoE. Worst thing in the game. But yeah, later we're basically... Uh, this is sort of going to be like a melee equivalent. Um, a melee equivalent of uh, ED Contagion in a while. Because uh, late game, you'll kind of be like... Hitting and then doing shattering steel. And you can see that it's already starting to do something now. Obviously, I don't always have a chance to impale right now. Um, I don't know if I really need impale effect this early. I think we'll just go for the war cries. There. And then at 31, we'll go by... Um, we won't have it for Dominus, but that's fine. I kind of did want to have it for Dominus. So I can show one shotting him. But we should have it for Vol at least. Maybe. Probably not. We'll ascend soon, too. This is going to be a champion. Ah! Wonder what the range of the nearby on uh, Impaler is. At this point, it really doesn't hurt to have like a worksheet for something if you want. Um, but later, you don't want to use it because it's going to be like stealing impales. Uh, and like the, we, we have the impaler, so you only want one thing impaling. It's also the reason that we don't want, for example, something like crowns. Uh, sorry, earth Earthquake. Because it has like two attacks. I haven't. Show me. And already now, the Call of Steel is starting to do damage. How does Champion benefit this? Champion has loads of like, um, it's got like the um, additional fish damage for each impale and extra impales and shit. It's really, really strong. Also, a really good tip when you're using smoke mine, you can stand inside the smoke cloud and the boss is blinded. Makes him like barely ever hit you while the smoke cloud is there. Oh, we actually have to go get a dread banner too. A stroll along a picturesque dread banner is like one too, right? Time in the mountains. Yes, Cray. Hello. Dread banner. Where is Dread Banner? Can I not buy it on Champion? Is it Act 2? Maybe it's Act 2. Is it Act 3? Act 2. Sweet. Thanks. Remember, it is Act 3. God damn it. Do I actually need to do the library for that? Hockey, thank you for the 37 months. Ruskin, thank you for the 4 months. Belgaron, thank you for the 5 months. He uh, thank you for the Twitch Prime. And hopefully, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Okay, sweet. Excellent. See you. There. We're gonna need... We don't need position until later. I'll, I'll just, like, recolor these. They don't need to be four blue. You can have, like, two greens or something. Does that work? Maybe I do need more reds for something. I'm gonna have to swap mine. I do want that on the second one, too. Actually, I do want two greens. Please? 
there. And we could have like an offhand for the decks. You one shot last phase of Zara. That's awesome. All right, let's see. Wait, we don't we don't need precision right now. We have a very very high chance to hit, but we can use Dread Banner right now. We really reserve that little. Wow. There, and then we put Smoke Mine here. Oh, I only get one. What's the thing? Um, there's something that lets us reserve multiple. I'm trying to remember what it's called. We we'll use that now so that we have um, more chance to impale. And then we are about to be 31 where we actually get to use the impale support champ. We can just ditch Onslaught then and start using Onslaught Flask instead. I think it's time to shed the dream of home. It's a little tight around the collar. When would you want Impaler versus not the Impaler? On this build, always Impaler. Always on this one. That's the entire thing we're building around. We're just going to be like... You're basically Magneto. You can see there we use the Impale skill. And already now, it just one shot the rares just by pulling them in. So it's kind of like you're just like running around inserting metal spikes in your enemies. And then like pulling them out. And going like... Lool! You will be remembered. Um, also, something that's really, really good. Uh, this is particularly for hardcore, but any level instant uh, life flask is huge. Huge for, like, again, doesn't really. Wait, do I not have one? That's sad. I only have level 12. Wait, I usually have one. I'm very sad now. I must have ended it. Let me try rolling one. You just need bubbling or seething. Um, some people like panic. I, I think it's like the worst thing you could possibly do. And the 50% recovery rate too. Like if you get that, I would stop on that while, uh, while early. But, um, bubbling or seething for leveling is huge. But like even, even something like this will, will help a lot to keep you alive. And we'll panic will help too. Let's see. Let's go grab a silver yeah, flask. Normally you don't get a silver flask until you kill innocents. There. Sure. I mean, ideally, I want. Um... Oh, and we can use. Um... We can talk about granite flask as well. This is like an ideal flask setup um, while leveling. Granite is so big for leveling, and if you use a granite and a jade, then you're you're basically immortal. No, basically immortal while leveling. Grim. I'm not using a level ground slam. We will wait with leveling that. See there, even just like. So much damage already and we're not even like we're not ascended we're not nothing it just it's it's pretty crazy how much damage this is gonna do they can and good clear that helps with clear so we'll get 31 and then switch over it's just like it's it's nice i should have called the character magneto to be honest missed opportunity Damn, I didn't impale him. Want to buy a chance to impale. But yeah, that'll be a really, really good letter. How many serious faces do you want to skip with this build? Seems yes, evil. yeah, pretty much. Let's go get 31 here real quick so we can switch already. And then we'll go ascend at level 38. I always take beasts when leveling too, because a lot of them can be good. I can't remember how early you can get the 16th beast, but I think it's just like level 50. Worry, we are As well. Do not worry, Imagine Do if Call of Steel was an instant skill. It would be so broken. YouTube generally, simply. Oh, right. Um, maybe people in tech can help you simply. Nice card in. That's awesome. Right, let's see. We have the impale stuff there. We don't really need impale effect right now. We're not going to be taking that later. Um, let's see. I always forget the good mace nodes. 
I think we'll take ribcage crusher. So generally, I always, um, well, we are using an axe now, actually. I keep, like, mixing this with a mace. It looks very macy. Pistol War, I think, is level 38. We'll, we'll use that. So we're going to be attacking very slowly. <laughs> There's nothing like making a ground-shaking entrance. Oh, wait. I, I got 31 and then forgot to put on the support gems. Right. We'll put on there, and then we need to go get... We'll get the next waypoint, and then I'll log out, and I'll buy a couple second wins, urgent orders. Look how much damage that did from just withdrawing my impel. So great. Shout out to the PeeWee plugin on Twitch for following along with the gems. That's a good point. Um, when I uh, when I go buy the new gems, I'll like, walk over all my gems. So it's easier to follow along for the people using the VOD. Actually, I'm really not sure I like the sound of that. Oh, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna skip the gem thing. The duelist doesn't want that. Sorry, duelist. And like really, really helps. It, it feels a little bit like an explosion chest. It feels a little bit like an explosion chest because it has like AOE and stuff. And like we're using Call of Steel at the moment, and this is without the support jewel. The support jewel is what's gonna help a lot. We probably should ditch the ground some jewel just for now. Because I don't really have access to another jewel slot until later. So uh I think we're gonna do that and then put in the Do I bother putting in the single target one or do I put in the AoE one? I think I think we have enough AoE while clearing, so we'll put in the, the single target jewel. Cause then we can just like play around with one buying bosses. Buried under tons of rock? Not a good way to end this tale of mine. Like explosion test on roids? Well, yeah, it's it's sort of uh, similar, but it doesn't remove corpses. Which is a large part of the reason why a lot of people use it. Okay, so we're gonna go grab things here. Look at another character. Pretty sure we're gonna take Master of Metal first. Master of Metal. So I just want... Is there anything else I wanted 31? Just Urgent Orders, I think, and uh, Second Winds. Is there any other Warcry support skill? I don't think so. Oh, Fist of War. We can buy that now, too. I'll buy Pulverize, too. Definitely easier with a five link. Chain screens away, yeah. There, all right. So, we have urgent orders. We have that for later. We have second wind. Uh, we only need one green. Ideally, I just want new gloves that has like three red, one green. Um, are there no armor gloves? I mean, these could I'm work. Let's just. Hope that the last one added is in blue. That'd be a paint of color. Of course it's blue. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, we're just gonna cheat a little bit. It doesn't matter. There was just like no armor ones from the vendor. This is a good way to explain. Like, this is a neat little socket trick too they could use. Um, so obviously these are like armor-based gloves. This is a massive waste on level 20 gloves. But by like doing three socket, four socket, um, this is especially useful late game. Um, you can control the sockets very well. So we, we, we use that a lot like him. Generally, I use very few chromes. I, uh, most of the time will use, um, sockets, like, or jewelers for, for changing the socket colors more than anything. Let's see, we have urgent orders. We have second wind. There, that should feel really nice. We're not using that. We'll do... Second win here on Smoke Mine and Flame Dash. And then we'll put away Precision for now until we need it later. We are also going to Ascend now. Uh, I usually always Ascend at the same place. Always pretty much in Crystal Veins. Sometimes they'll have a build that is a completely bust busted at 28 or 31 now Ascend then. But yeah. Alright, let's see. 
Do we need anything? I think we just both to the left. I don't really need my axe nodes. I guess it does have impale effect. Do you know what? We can take this for leveling and then get rid of it later. We'll get rid of it later when I go mace this. Mace is like the nodes aren't that great. That's like the the only like downside. Oh, I forgot the jewel. I forgot the jewel. Once we get to the test I here in lab, I will um we'll look over all the gems we're using and, and put in the jewel. There, we'll do it here. And and if you're watching and you see that people ask questions that have been answered already, please answer them because I will I don't want to keep repeating questions while I'm making this video. Right, we're going to take the Lord of Steel jewel. We're going to put that in here. We'll do rapid expansion later once we get access to a jewel slot. Um, and we can go over the dam. So I'm still using limb split with 20 quality. And I have ground slam, impale, maim, and melee physical damage. Which I don't think... Oh, we could use pulverize actually instead of maim. Um, that will be nice. A little more AoE. We don't care about the attack speed. Um, so that should be really nice. Hmm, I wonder if I will use Fist of War on only a 4 link. Probably we're done a 5 link, but we'll see. We'll see at 38, see how it feels. We have Blood Rage and Splitting Steel and a Helmet. They're not linked, it doesn't matter. We have Intimidating Cry, Seismic Cry, Second Wind, and Urgent Orders. Here we have War Banner, Herald of Ash, Herald of Purity, and uh, Dread Banner. We're only using one banner, so you could throw one of them on the ground. Second Wind, Smoke Mine, and Flame Dash. That's what we're doing at the moment. This should be a lot better later, too. And remember, you can't, like, spam the, um, the, the Call of Steel. Because, and, uh, we have to be careful. Because enemies cannot be impaled for four seconds after you impale them. So ideally, you want a one-shot. If you don't one-shot, it'll take as much as five seconds to kill a boss. Which, obviously, we don't want. We really don't want that. We do want to one-shot bosses, ideally. Especially, like, him. We can see here, like, you can use it to help with clearing, um, and it'll, like, prolif. So if there's, like, say there's a rare that doesn't get one shot, which most of the time right now we're one-shotting, but you can, like, call of steel to finish them off. Also, I have to be careful now, because, um, in this lab, there are lieutenants. Um, and this build, like, normally this is never a concern in normal lab, because, um, because... You normally don't have enough damage in normal lab to kill yourself to lieutenants. However, this build might. So we do actually have to be careful. Um, most people don't die to lieutenants because they know how they work. But in case you're new and you don't, we can explain it. Lieutenants, uh, especially the cold lieutenant, uh, the way it works is it casts a reflect aura. And I'm going to show you guys a nice counter to it here now. So it's uh, uh, this lieutenant in the middle here. And it says on it, cast damage reflection. Well, when does it cast it? Does it do it after time? No. You can, like, run around and it's never going to cast it. You'll see now, it's just never casting it. However, if I flame dash through it, now it's going to cast it. So it's only upon taking damage. It's actually smart. It waits. And then you kill it after the reflector is down. So that's, that's how you deal with that. And it's, I've died to it too. Like, it's very, very easy to get careless and die to it. So be be careful. Be careful. Because a lot of people think that, oh, well, I've waited 10 seconds now and I don't see the aura. So it's probably casted it already. It is actually waiting for you. Gotta remember, GGG wants to kill you as much as possible, right? That is their job. Can't do this just yet. Ow. Ow. Doesn't feel like I have second win. Now normally I want my um instant life flask for them, but couldn't be bothered spending a hundred ults on level 30 flask. See, it does pretty much as much damage as my Sam to pull it back in. What's my chance to impale right now? Let's take a quick look. 95%. So now we're actually like pretty good impale chance this early. 
Um, so another thing, like generally, like a lot of people, like uh, once you get to like Cruel or Merc or Uber Lab, lab traps can start being like more scary and harder to deal with. Um, and generally, the, there's a couple of tips that you can do that are really, really good. You have the Rallakesh Pantheon, makes you take less damage from lab traps. That helps a lot. Um, oops, I went down a dead end. Um, so yeah, Rallakesh Pantheon, less damage from some lab traps. Uh, but what else can we do as players to like help make it easier? So running through them generally makes it a lot safer too. Most trap systems don't have enough um, surface area, so to say, to kill you if you're actually running through them. So you'll notice a lot of the time, if you've ever like seen uh, videos of people dying in the lab, a lot of the time it's people panicking and running like back a little, forward a little, and they're like, oh no, and they end up just trailing traps until they die. So having like a fast quick silver and just like Nyum! running straight through, that is um, very, very good. Um, and also there's another thing that can be really helpful, especially for going slow, and that's having Enduring Cry with Second Wind. Even if you don't have any like Enduring Cry nodes or anything, but just having, um, I wonder if I can one shot it. Oh. Woo! I don't want to fuck with the lieutenant. I just one shot a Zaro. That, was, that, that looked nice. That looked nice. That was the Call of Steel, by the way, that one shot him. So it's already now, this early, without all the investment, um, doing some like big impact, which is pretty cool. Um, right, so we're going champion and we're going to take uh, Master of Metal as the first one. So we get uh, that they last two additional hits, but more importantly, the 6 to 12 added for each Impale on the enemy. And the nice thing about the Impaler is when we're hitting multiple enemies like that, they're instantly at max stacks. What level do you get that big slam weapon? That's level 70. Be well. Do this just what does CDPS mean in PoE? I keep hearing it. So that's builds inspired by Quinn69. Um, I'm just kidding. Um, it's just builds with very little damage. See there, we pulled out the impale of the corpses of the ones we killed before, because they stay in the corpses. So it's pretty, pretty cool mechanic. Helps a lot with like the clear speed and stuff. Whoop. So it helps a lot. And there you can see like. I can I can try to like just to make it easier for people with the um, for how I'm playing with this right now. I'll try to like call out. Uh, I mean, you can see the ground sounds, but I'll call out when I'm pressing Call of Steel, like there. Um, I'll, I'll try to just say like, call when I'm using them, so it like makes sense when I'm using them, because people might not uh, see it because it doesn't have that much of an animation. Call. Ah. Uh, oh, maybe I have to have line of sight on them. Call. God damn it. They weren't like on top of the corpses. So right now we have the damage one in, not the AoE one. The AoE one would make it have like a little bit more clear speed. Call. Boop! Call. You can see there like cleared pretty much everything. And this is without the AoE one. This is strong rank sale. Uh, no, Earthquake would be bad for this. So generally, I will do one hit followed by a call, pretty much always. Call, and that like will finish everything off. Call, call. See, they did like 80% of the beast's damage. We can try it down here as well. We'll do like shots for this. Ah. Oh, actually, I just one hit it normally without call. Anyway, you get the idea. Generally, do one hit and then a call, and then it helps a lot with the clear. It'll like clear everything. These. 
These guys should be fun up ahead here. There, I did a call. But yeah, I'll, I'll stop saying call all the time now, but you'll, you, you, you'll start to notice it. Wow, that thing is tanky. Holy shit. And, and do remember the four second rule that you can only impale enemies once every four seconds with the way we're playing this build. So we hit them once and then we do call of steel. Kind of like hit call, hit call, hit call, got it. Yep, that's pretty much it. So that's why I said like it's very similar to something like ED Contagion uh, and shit like that. There's one hit, one call. Whoops. Ah. Boop. No. Boop. There. So that's like the power of the Call of Steel jewel. Lord of Steel, I mean, not Call of Steel. There, we're gonna start moving over here now. We can take life, and we can take a jewel over here. We can take axe nodes, loads of things we can take. And we take um, impale chance here, which uh, I think this is better than these nodes, right? So this is 15, 25, 30. How much is this? 10, 20, 40. So we can ditch this and, and grab this, and then I think we have 100, right? Wait, do we already have a hundred? Okay. Hmm. Oh, but later I can um do it. Don't die, please. Twitch turn off notification for small raids now. There was um a lot of people were just spamming host. There were like people started setting up bots to target big streamers. Um because for a while, especially streamers that didn't have like Frank Fris C or BTTV couldn't turn it off. Where you could basically, you would do like a hundred hosts a minute and their chat would be completely unreadable. Yeah, we're using Dread Banner at the moment. I can't do this just yet. Boop. Feels really fun to play with the, um... It's so nice just watching everything you'd obliterated once you press, press W. So for the gear I'm using right now, if you join late, you can just like look at the um, look at the um, the drop down. The drop down. Some guy like freaked out completely. He just sent me a message yesterday, flaming me as well. He like he was him. He's, he was like he'd been a follower for a year. He's actually unfollowed me now. But um, he asked if I could hover over all of my gear. And show him each gear like slowly and i said no you can like look at the um the the twitch app that like shows all the gear and he like lost it completely and started flaming me saying he wasn't going to use some piece of shit third party malware and then like unfollowed me and he just started flaming me in dms and then blocked me i was like I like 700 messages in my chat too so it's not like he hasn't been here a lot it's really weird I tried like, messaging him to ask if he was okay and I was blocked. I was like, Jesus. That's intense. Yeah, that's why I asked if he was okay. I was like, holy shit. Is there even a way to disable that thing? Isn't that like just always on the thing on the, the right? What's the Twitch app? There's like a... If you're watching on Twitch, there's like a thing over there if you hover over the screen. You can disable that, huh? I want to learn how to disable it because every time I'm watching a Borderlands stream, that thing is the most cancerous thing I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure it's Borderlands. It might be mixing games. You guys can remind me, but it's like it like covers the entire fucking screen. There's one game. It just covers the entire fucking screen no matter what I do. 
The Borderlands one is awful? Yeah, okay, sweet. Horrible. Uh, he did a nice pass. Yeah, I know Zader. Right there. Um, we can go... And I'm still using my level 12 limbs play. I didn't play Borderlands 3. You can at least hover all of your gems very slowly. You might joke, but I actually did that once already, and I will be doing it again. It's whenever I do a big change. So we did the, we did that at level thirty-one. We hovered all over all over all the gems. That's something we should um we should highlight that the one I did at thirty-one. I hope you uh, highlighted it so we can um have it in the YouTube video for people that are skipping through. Well, we'll do another one later too. Is that something useful for people? Like, not everybody wants to watch the six-hour video or has time to. And I will be doing a build guide for this too, obviously. But we we don't have that now. I want to like play it more and learn more about it and see how I change it. But uh, like write down in the highlights when I showed down when I showed all the gems earlier. Picture of how to disable the army from left. Oh, cool. Thanks, Manny. Appreciate it. I like, it's kind of interesting how I ended up turning into like a lot of my content being about teaching because the way it started um, was I started just like, you know, hardcore no lifing the game um, and people started asking like, wow, how do you do this? Like, how, what, can you like make a video like explaining what you're doing and make your bill guides and stuff? And I was like, oh, people keep asking so much for bill guides. I guess I'll do a bill guide so people stop asking. And then people started asking more. Fuck. And now I'm like, all my content is about teaching now. Fuck. Boop. Oh, look at that. That feels nice. I'm just gonna say boop when I do Call of Steel 9 again. This storm round at Totem. Oh my god. There's a few things that are really awful as a content creator. Bringer of Rain, Spiritual Aid, um, there's a few others too, but there's some things that like... Spiritual Aid's probably the worst thing they've added to the game for streamers. People are like, wait, why are we taking minion nodes and storm runs? <laughs> it literally makes me not play those builds. White Wind? Yeah, oh my god. I mean, thankfully I don't use that. I'm not bewildered. You're about to be bewildered. Hey. So on this boss, um, I've seen a few other people like struggle on this. Uh, you want to like just go clockwise with it, and the closer you stay to the boss, the better. Ow! I want an instant flash. My beautiful champion. I knew I. Oh my god, Legion and Cluster Duels too. Yeah. <sighs> Didn't you do Spellslinger VDDD last season as Necro? Yeah, I got nerfed this thing though. But yes, I did. Why? So you get an instant flash before Malachi. It's like so good. Mm hmm. Yeah, we have uh, Impale effect here and Chance to Impale. Yes. Oops. I'm watching you. Penskinator, thank you for the 50 month resub. Boss Dan, thank you for the Twitch Prime. And Mendes, thank you for the two months. Alerts are off during these. Be careful. And I try to like reply to like mostly questions that are about the the play with me. For for this. And after the play with me I can just do any questions. Impaler interaction might be worse than spiritual aid. Maybe. But yeah. I really do appreciate help with like questions that aren't related to the play with me while I'm doing this. If we're able to. I can't do this just yet. No struggles with the build so far. It's just being easy. Boop. Boop. A body to kill for. 
Yeah, dude. It's pretty smooth. But you said don't do those builds? No, I didn't. What are you talking about? I've never said that. There. Bosses that have ads around them as well is really good. Look at that damage from just a little bit. Am I 38 yet? 37. I kind of want to try Fist of War. Just for like a big call early. I'm still using a level 12 weapon. I mean, we could use more, like, especially if you're 6 linked at the moment, then you can, like, one shot bosses. Uh, even with a limb split. Uh, we can try, like, um,. We can try using better weapons too. Whoops. I didn't catch a word of what you said, Doedri. That's probably a good thing. So is it easy way to practice bosses? Um generally we would do like softcore trade league or standard to practice bosses. It's the best way. It's always very, very hard to practice bosses on hardcore. So it's very punishing. But want? on softcore, then you have like six portals and stuff. It's a lot of room for like mistakes. May fear guide you. There, uh, we're not gonna bother rolling an axe now. I think this level twelve limb split is gonna be fine for now. There, this is more effect, right? How much is this? We don't need the attack speed, so we can just ditch. We can just ditch these now. These aren't as good. These are better, more effect and stuff. Harpooner. Right, let's try Fist of War. Um, it might feel a little weird. But we'll see. I would definitely use it on a 5 link. I don't know if we'll use it on a 4 link. What a pleasure to finally meet you. Hi. You and I will create the most beautiful we could be using Pride as well. Let us bathe you in blood. Or we could do flesh and stone and maim actually. That would make more sense. Now exile. Well okay then. That's some damage. Okay, don't have to tell me twice. This is level 12 weapon. Cool stuff. Now, let us see if you truly understand I'm not using War Banner. Where'd you go? Nightmare is the true eternal. Hey up, please. Oh, you're not dead. Accept the gift of immortality. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's a good call steal. Nice. Mm hmm. Yeah, exerts are insane. They are insane. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna go... I can't be bothered using a, a golem. I just like don't have it in me. The reason I don't use golems, there's a couple of reasons. They're annoying. I feel like I never bother keeping them alive. And... They get you killed in incursions and stuff. This war is very cool. Yeah, because I've been playing Cyclone. <laughs> Cyclone's not too bad. Let's see, do we have anywhere we can throw two reds? Um... Because I think I just need more slots. I actually think if I remove this melee physical here and shove that in here, then we can put Dread Banner down here, which doesn't get affected by any of the support. 
does. It does get affected by something. What about Harold of Irish? Do you get affected by anything? I hate everything. Everything's getting affected by second wind. That's annoying. Okay, I can unlink my boots for this. There, perfect. Then I can have whatever here. We can have Herald of Ash. And then we can do, where are you? Flesh and Stone. You know what? If I had one more red, do I have another rim? So I like, I like having a two green, two blue rim. I'd rather have one with more reds for this. Oh, nice. I have two perfect gold rims. That's actually fairly rare in SSF. Do I only need one more red? Actually, I think that's perfect. Putting seal, blood rage. And then we can grab the... What's it called again? Blood and sand? We can use that too. Could it be awkward to get the impale hit on Fist of War? It's 100%. A hundred percent. There, let's grab blood and sun. I always forget this thing exists. This is so so fun, yeah. There, let's see what ours we can fit now. Um, so the only thing I changed there was like uh, we threw away war banner, and then we're gonna have flesh and stone. And where's where's my mame? My mame here. Did I destroy my Mame Gem earlier? Did I just put it away? Ah! Here. Because you can do Flesh and Stone and Mame and it increases the, uh, the Mame. I thought Fist of War echoes the attack? No. It just makes it very big. Power- empowers it. Let's see... Shit. Let's switch Dread Banner and Herald of Purity. Perfect. So you can see that none of my auras are being affected by support gems right now. Except for Flesh and Stone. There, we have very little mana left. Um, but we should be fine. Worst, worst case, we can use a Mana Flask again or put uh, Blood Magic on something. Or I could like ditch one of the abilities. Call still zero mana as well. Yeah, nice. Cool. The annoying part about Smokebind is that it actually reserves mana. I do love this. I think I will just ditch. I need Dread Banner to hit cap. Wait, and I'm not. Wait, one sec. Am I? Oh, we're not using Blood and Sun right now. We shouldn't need Herald of Ash. And I'll just focus on physical damage instead. And then we'll do this. There. So now I'm running. I just ditched Ash for now. Flesh and Stone, Blood and Sun, Dread Banner, and Herald of Purity. Why do you use a Steel Skill when Slam is your main attack? Um, I'll show you. So we're, we're Impaling and we're using uh, the Impaler. And Ground Slam is very, very high like attack damage. So watch this now, right? We kill them. Boop. Call of Steel. It just pulls. You're basically Magneto. You're basically Magneto. You're just like... Sucking the Impales out of them. Do you know the Call of Steel trick for leveling or clear speed? What's the Call of Steel trick? Jeffrey's Baptism? Sure, you can use pretty much anything. Pretty much any unique. I'm just saying, and we're just showing it off right now with a level 12 limb split. You can, you can upgrade. Yeah, but leaps some so slow. I don't want to use it. What's the... What's this trick? Hi, right, come up here with the other mobs. Move or or don't. I want to do like one shot him. I 
I like how someone said, do you know the trick? And then they won't say, oh, there. You can put any steel gem in any part of your gear and use any skill you want to level as long as you're in pale build and one shot screens with cold steel. Even though you're not using the steel skills. That's not a trick. That's just using the skill. That's what we're doing right now. That's not a trick. That's... The, what? That's just the build. That's what we're doing. That's not a trick. That's literally just playing. That's like saying, do you know the do you know the trick with playing ground slam? You're using ground slam? That's the entire build we're doing. That's not a trick. I was so excited. I thought there'd be some like special thing. God damn it. Using mechanics is ethical. No, it's all good. It is to be fair, I can see why it would seem like a trick. Because like there it just we just one shot everything. But yes, that is great. That is what we're doing. That's the point of this. Boop. You should lower your expectations, sis. It's so good. To be fair, I can, I, it, it, it's, it is like very, very strong. So, I get it. I get it. No bully. No bully. I can't do this just yet. Owie. That was through his damage reduction that he gets for your channeling too. Boop. Hey, just even without being touched by the skill, the uh, Call of Steel killed the rare. That's a four link plus shit weapon. Yeah, we're literally still using, um, we're still using a level 12 limb split. Level 12 limb split. That's like, that's important. That's important to realize. Dude, I really, I kind of want to rename the character. Remember you can, like, you can't ask for renames from GGD support. I tried to not do it a lot though. They probably already have a lot to deal with. It's like, hey, can you rename my character to Magneto? Ah, I hate proxy shields. Get me out of this zone. Magneto is a level 84 trickster in Standard League. Of course it is. Uh, let's see. I want Fortify effect soon too. I don't have Fortify right now. Might go for Fortify next, but then we don't get anything until Mark Lab. Is this build Papega proof? Probably not. Like, it's really, really solid for softcore, but like on hardcore, like Ventura did die to one of the synthesis bosses, but the synth bosses are particularly rippy. They're probably one of the most dangerous things in the game. There's a couple of reasons for that as well, why the synth bosses are so dangerous. Uh, one of the reasons is you barely ever get to fight them. So like, for example, if you've seen, like, when I'm doing Sirius and stuff like that, even on, like, even in the Gauntlet, when I was doing Sirius with uh, a very, very undergeared build with, like, Sirius having multiple projectiles, uh, haste, double, or increased damage, and I had minus 80 res, stuff like that, it's still very comfortable for me because I've done that fight so much. Whereas with the Synthesis bosses, most of us haven't fought them very much at all. The way I do them, I only do Synthesis bosses on, um, I build my, um, characters to be immortal for that fight specifically so they're immortal for like nine or ten seconds and then i kill them i go rt uh the the right chieftain or or juggernaut righteous fire are very tanky i can't build that immortal build right now because i don't have the amulet that makes you immune to elemental damage but the nice thing about the um the nice thing about the, uh, what do you call it, synthesis bosses is they have so much elemental damage. So whenever you are able to use that amulet, that elemental damage heals you, you never die. It's called gluttony of elements.
99% of players don't know you can call steal other people's impales in your group. Right. Well, most of us are playing solo. That would probably be why. But yeah. But that's awesome. Also, if you ever feel that you're under leveled, what a lot of people do is in this zone to over level to like maybe 45 or something like that. Um, we're, we're so powerful, we shouldn't have a problem with levels here at all. Nice. <laughs> you are getting slammed. Level 12 weapon, by the way. You know, I was thinking about it, but I really want to watch somebody die to, um... I really want to watch somebody die to porcupines with, uh, you, you slam and then call of steel. I think that would look funny. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna grab this, actually. That'll help it resist. Really? Stupid innocence. Wonder if I die during a play with me? Someone's like, well, guess I'll die too. So nice. You can see the impale on these very well. You are the, you're the end? Oh, I am. I see Lily over leveling this one too. Yeah, it's very common. Don't need it on this, but it is very common. It's very, very good. Especially on spell builds, like over leveling makes a big difference. Very nice, just spamming Cold Steel. It's actually very fast cast time. You're dead. You're dead, kid. Yep, it is check one. <sighs> oh, decent high fire damage weapon, Gallo. Nice ones, though. Let's see. So now we're going to do Kitava and then I'm going to have a um, stretching and toilet break after Kitava and then I'll try not to take any more breaks. It's such a long video that we just uploaded raw to YouTube because I don't want to. It would take like 20 hours to render from my editor. We're going to try to have better timestamps in this one. Remember, like before Kitava, make sure you have some way of becoming resist capped. Somebody asked me yesterday, like, how do we make sure we resist Captain Africa Top? And it's like, well, you know exactly how much res you're gonna lose. It's not a it's not a surprise. You're not like, oh, I lost 25% this time. It's always 30. Always 30 res lost. So if you are worried about your res, like farm up in like Chamber of Innocence, maybe allocate some resist nodes. But do remember that it's always the same amount. What's the combo with the E and R skill? So they are my Intimidating Cry and Seismic Cry. So they like do a huge damage boost. Huge damage boost. Intimidating Cry doubles my damage and Seismic Cry is 30% more damage per slam. The last one being 120 or something. So if you have Intimidating Cry up at the last, uh, same time as the last Seismic, then you're getting over double... Or no, triple your damage? Why not bind Soul of Steel to your move instead? I mean, you could do this! That is... That sure is something! Like... If you really want to, yeah? I mean... 
I'm not going to stop you. That would be an interesting way of playing. I don't judge too much. A little bit. We judge a little bit. The <laughs> vacuum build. <laughs> Giving the mobs the suck. Really nice for finishing enemies off. There, we can get a second slam ground jewel here. I do remember when you get them from the vendor, they're item level one, so they cannot uh, evolve for corrupting blood, but they can evolve for reduced mana reservation, uh, which is nice. I'm good, Atsy. How are you, dude? Thank you for the one year. Good to see you, man. Um, but yeah, so you would need to drop, like, I think, I can't remember what item level corrupting blood is, but you can't get it on item level one. Which is really annoying because there are several jewels that are nice from quest rewards. That means you can't corrupting blood them. We're going to go grab the skill point here from the side quest. Uh, and I do need to like fix my gear a little bit. Maybe craft some resists. Sadly, I, a lot of my gear doesn't have suffixes. The easiest way is to just craft resist with your crafting bench. But uh, because we don't have suffixes, that is a pain. And we can get resist from here now. That'll help a little bit. It looks so cool to have the sword following me. And then remember, like, you do have the other jewel you can use too. Um, for more AoE on the Call of Steel stuff. But I'm using the damage one at the moment. Just for more, like, fun boss one shotting this. Watch up here. Oh, Pregulism. I level 33 for crafting blood. So we dropped a ground slam jewel here, then we could get it. First ascendancy node was the only one I have. Master metal. Why not both? Because it's limited to one, sadly. But that would be insane. If we could have that AoE and the damage one, that would be bonkers. I'm like one-shotting everything here. Where are you seeing this one? Increase U speed, reflect, and... Um, yeah, that overwhelm stuff. So, we got uh, seal points here. Bong bong. There, and we'll take those. Helps with resist. Now we're 81 fire res, and we only need to craft one more resist, which we can do here. Um, I want to make a point of just using fairly trash gear for the play with me, because I feel like so many, um, either like content creators, YouTubers, etc., they end up leveling or making a build with insane gear, and a lot of the time they'll say, oh, well, it works fine with shit gear um but they never show that they never do that so i've always like tried to make it a point of like showing it with bad gear and good gear um so like for example noogi uh right now is only using a 490 pdps uh karu chopper as a so that's like very very proof that it works with like low damage weapons too what am i oh i just have that much mana And right now we're losing level 12 um, limb split. I love that. Bandits is skill points. We'll make a bill guide for this too. And yeah, like I have a really, really good weapon for in game. And we'll be like, we'll be like scaling this and showing you guys how far we can take it. Um, but what like the, the easiest or most important thing when looking for a weapon to buy for this bill, like I've been saying, is looked at it as a high top end damage, not so much DPS. Because the DPS could actually, like, if you're only looking for DPS, which for most builds, that is what you should do. But, um, for this build, if you're able to get, like, a really fucking slow, like, career chopper, maybe it only has, like, 540 DPS. 
Um, and it's pretty cheap to buy, but it has like no attack speed. It's just like gnarly and slow. Uh, but that's going to make your Call of Steel do so much damage. And that's what you want for this. So don't look for attack speed. Just look for high DPS uh, on the on the top end. Mm, I think champion's the best by far for this build. Wait, how is I dissing Nuki there? What? That sucked. Tidebreaker? Yeah, Tidebreaker should be pretty good. What's the top end on a Tidebreaker? And do remember, this is for every physical build. Remember that if you, on Betrayal, get Hillock and Transport, you can um, put your weapon to 28 quality. Ow. My calls are done. There. And then... We can try... Maybe we'll try rolling a new weapon once we, like, kill Kitava. And we can, like, show a little bit on what I'd be looking for in weapons, too. Obviously, don't really need it. We're doing pretty decent damage so far. But do remember that this is a level 12 weapon. Um, probably the best thing if you really want to twink out would probably be Cauterizer. No, it's like a lot of fire damage, but it's just stupid damage to begin with. Bonk! So we're gonna have a short break here. And, and I will be back soon. Just gonna run to town. Only the Tolson Brace should be fine too. Basically, like, all you want is really, really high uh, top end damage. I do have a six thing Reaper's Pursuit, funnily enough, that I'm not using at the moment. The flame of hope may flicker, but it cannot be extinguished. No, you can't, like, well, well, like, you can't desecrate and impale the desecrated mobs. Where do you get mana from? Um. Life and Mana Leech. You could also get a jewel with Mana Leech. Yeah, so like, I do have like some some other unique weapons that would be better than this. And just like, I just wanted to show off how, um, let's see. What's the highest top end? This one. This one has a very high top end. 275 compared to the 102. I could use this and just only use a 4 link or only use a 5 link. But uh, right now we're just like showing off this on a 4 link. And I'll show how to roll a weapon now for like low levels. Um, I'll be right back.
So I just made my girlfriend cry. I started like whistling the Harry Potter theme song. And then she like came up and hugged me. And uh, I was saying that we could like watch the Harry Potter series again on the new TV soon. And she started like tearing up and she was like, what did I do in a past life? I was like, oh, that's sweet. She loves Harry Potter. She's a huge fan. <sighs> Hermit or him, so tell me good for this build. Um, no, not really. It's okay. Right, so we're gonna grab a weapon. Um, ideally we do want something slow, and ideally we want an axe. So a timber axe is fine. Is there anything slower that is still an axe? Not really, but it'll do. It's a little yeah, well. bit fast, but it's fine. So first we're gonna quality it before doing anything to it. Um, trying to think. I'm pretty sure I can at least use whaling. So this is actually a pretty great one. Um, so this has the flat fist from the whaling, and it's hit hybrid as well, and then it has an open prefix. Yeah, rich man. And then we can craft physical damage here. So we're not high enough level to craft the 48 yet, which is also very expensive. But and so is this actually. But we can craft this, and then we can see that it is quite a lot better. Oh, I should use the binding orb to four link it first, but whatever. It's whatever. So I still want to just use the four link. I feel like so many people are like, feel like you have to level with a with a six link early. You really don't. We can see like the the damage increase now. It's like actually I didn't see what it was before. We have no way of seeing what it was before. Too late. Unfortunate. Um, and uh, yeah, we are resist capped. We're 92, 87, 87. We've killed Katava. Uh, and we can go over the gems again real quick as well. Why do we want fire damage? We don't want fire damage. Uh, anyway. Uh, ground slam, pulverize, impale, fist of war, blood rage, blood and sand, splitting steel, maim, flesh and... Flesh and Stone and Dread Banner, and the Mame is linked to the Flesh and Stone. Second Wind, Smoke Mine, Flame Dash, Herald of Purity, Intimidating Cry, Seismic Cry, uh, Oregon Orders, and Second Wind. That is what we're currently using. Why does it need to be an Axe? Because right now we have Axe nodes. We're going to be going Mace later. Axes are generally better. They have like Impale effect as well. I can't do this just yet. The suck. Ah, you're out of range. Golden axe is a lot. I am a lumberjack. You can see that it does so much for the clear. I don't know how easy it is to see on stream, but um. I'm basically like doing Call of Steel every single time I slam. This is a bit like playing ED Contagion. Look at that, just one shotting rears with the Call of Steel. One shotting that. And obviously, we do a lot more damage if we do. The war cries, but for most things we don't need it. Where are the last monsters? Well, we're, we're gonna be like timestamping it in the YouTube video too for the gems. That's why I do want to go over them pretty quickly. There. Yeah, we'll be RTN game. We're not gonna have much like accuracy and uh, we're not going crit or anything like that. Crit is decent though, just not for this. There, just in case. I just, I like having that on every character. It's kind of annoying. I wish it wasn't like this, but you can't, uh, like, Lillian Act 10 doesn't sell you gems if you haven't done the quest here, which is annoying. That is annoying. There. It really is the Magneto build, though. Fun times. There. Another good way to get onslaught on builds like this too is to have like a stitch and vice or To be fair, like normally I would recommend having life on all your gear by now. Um Maybe I should actually bother switching for like some leveling gear, have like a run. Probably wanna have around like 1700 life at this point. 
Especially on a duelist, that should be very easy to get. Um, I usually just really like showing off the build on super shit gear. Um, and seeing how well that does. But, you know, it's look at this. Boop. But uh, it is a little bit sketchy having 1300 life here. Normally I would have life on like everything. And it's a lot easier if you're um, if you're not using a tabula. Like having rest on your chest and everything. It's so easy to rest cap then. Um, Onslaught is just so easy to get from a, a searching eye. I don't think I'd use a cluster jewel for that. I don't know. I don't know if I'd use a cluster jewel at all for this build. We'll see. See how we feel when we get late game. But I feel like last time I looked at the Warcry clusters, they look garbage. Okay, here we go again. Are you not dead? Hello? Sir? Ow. There we go. I can't do this just yet. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for everything they came. Very excited for actually just one shotting my bosses. Please stop with the noise, fuck me. <laughs> but it's the suck. I'm enjoying sucking. Alright, we'll stop. Just for you. It's so tempting to do it more now. Damn it. <laughs> Feels like so much like an explosion chest. It actually does. Yeah, slightly delayed explosion chest that doesn't remove corpses. Wow, look how much damage the suck did there. Add it as a sub sound. No, I don't hate you guys that much. I'm like so conflicted at the moment thinking if I want to play that life. Fa fa What's the game called? The scary game. It just looks a little bit too scary for me to handle. But I would be playing with other people, which I think helps a lot. That mods want to play with me. I love playing with that mods. Phasmophobia, that's it. Mm -hmm. It does do an AoE. Why did you start your play along at such a shitty time? I mean, I mix them up. We can do the Tuesday one later. We can do the Tuesday one at like 11 or 10. If that suits you better, Cannon Death. Yeah, this is Heroes of Meta Magic. This is going to be uploaded to YouTube. So I'm generally trying to avoid answering like random questions. Mostly trying to have things that are only for this. For the most part. I always wonder if somebody like ends up watching like a long video like this on YouTube and then goes like, you know what? This Twitch thing sounds quite nice. I'm going to start watching Twitch. And then become part of the community pod. What would your fifth and sixth link be for leveling? Uh... Melee physical and what else would I put in? Brutality. Melee physical and brutality. We don't have any LE damage. It's true, Phil. Twitch Pro being able to ask questions live. True. Mm -hmm. I've done normal up. Normal up is done already. When do you use work, guys? Mostly for bosses. I don't need it for anything else. We only need it for bosses. I can't do this just it's just to like one shot bosses basically. Or close to. I'd say axes are better, but I have a really good mace. Maces give more AoE and stuff, but the, the nodes don't have Impale effect on them. Boop. Oh, look at that. One-shotting rare from just the Impale. 
No, we're gonna get fortified from an ascendancy, and I don't really need it while leveling. Well, I mean, it did go low, but hey. Let's see, we can grab these. <coughs> so, four link, timber axe. Come here. You'll get impale third lab? That sounds like a bad idea. Fortify is not that important while leveling, especially if your self core is like the worst idea you could do. Farewell. Good work, that was nice. That was nice. Greetings. Do you know that's actually a pretty good ring? Stay sharp out there. I need the end. Uh, there. You have an open surface and craft fire res on it. That's a nice, nice ring. You didn't slurp, but I'm sad. I can never win. People want me to slurp. People don't want me to slurp. Damn it. Peace to you. Peace to me. You have to do impale with a fast weapon. What main skill would you use? Cyclone? Alright, let's go kill the boss. It's very nice though. It, it feels great. Ah, how are you alive? It'd be interesting to try with the AoE stuff later. As well. Right now we're doing the damage one and like faster speed. How's your game so bright? Oh, I'm not sure. This is my graphic settings. There, now we have um, max damage cries. Cool. One shot, one call. And Stevlo and school. And school. Nice. Why doesn't Nugi take Solo Steel? Solo Steel, I don't know. It's not that great anymore as it used to be. Because it used to be 5% fist reduction as well. It used to be probably the best node in this heal tree. But now that it's only plus one max stress, it is a lot worse. Will I take it? I don't know. We'll see. I'll definitely have a different seal tree, I think, in game. I'll probably also be running a Combs Heart. Isn't it insane? Nah, not anymore. It used to be. But it, it used to be insane. Hey, Darker, what's up? Good to see you, man. Never used Divine Iron. I feel like Divine Iron needs an explosion chest. It is very good for bossing once you get in, like, one. So now we've done all the skill points so far. Um, and everything is like pretty chill. We're level 45, three levels under the zone. So we're getting 100% XP still. And keeping pace pretty well. And two hours, 15 minutes so far. Probably looking at like three, maybe four hours to Blood Aqueduct. Generally, I end up um, stopping these at Blood Aqueduct because the normal thing to do in hardcore is to just over level to level 70 in Blood Aqueduct. Um, and then there's Crush Kitava. I mean, on this build, we'll 100% be doing one hit. I will definitely use my weapon. Um, I can do, like, before we end the play with me as well, I'll try to remember, but we can do a little bit of, like, searching on POE trade and, like, show what weapons to look for as to what not to buy. Like I was saying, like, you really want, like, slow weapons with high damage, not necessarily high DPS weapons. Not the best way to do this, but we'll see later. Ground Stam is pretty much the best for this. It has like the highest damage effectiveness. And you can't use something like Earthquake or something because your damage is coming from two different hits. And Earth Shatter is relying too much on like... For this build, you want to do the Warcrest before hitting something. 
on our shadow you want to do it while hitting something it's more about stacking up multiple pillars it's a uh, pretty much the perfect skill for this thunder would probably work too but i think that's worse should be pretty much the best No, it is not an ailment. That's nice. Still on a four link. And we're not using pride either. We could use pride in game. Literally one shot. Well, sort of. I mean, we are using call of steel, so it's not a one shot, I guess, but basically a one shot. But it is nice. I'm enjoying the build so far. Should be a really good boss killer that it should also be like fairly quick. Um, you really want to get, like, I think a lethal pride would be the best thing for this. Uh, and get a shit ton of fortify effect. Should be very, very tanky. Um, something that's very, very interesting. Like, so Sibak was being nerfed. And I, it's very hard. Like, for example, even on the Blade Blast Blade full character I have, it's very hard to do um, Zibakwa now compared to before. Like, it's still good, but it's not as broken as it was. However, Transcendence is. Um, so I do hope I find a Transcendence tool so I can make a video on it and like try to understand it better. Because I've never used it before. But it basically makes your armor mitigate uh, elemental damage. And then you stack like giga amounts of armor. You do like Brass Dome. Um, you do uh, Iron Will and everything like that or whatever it's called. Just and just stack giga amounts of armor. And then a couple of people have gotten like so much that the Shaper Balls do like 300 or 400 damage. I got 30 extra FPS from changing to your video settings. Maybe I should make a quick video on my video settings, just in case. Because, I don't know. I don't, I take it for granted. I just have everything at the bottom, but that's awesome. But yeah, uh, Lethal Pride with loads of Fortify Fight 2. Sabaku is basically the same, just requires a few extra passive points. Well, it's not just a few extra, though. Because, if you think about it, even with two... Of the uh, Chaos plus 3 cluster, that puts you to 86. And then you need... Um, like It's pretty much the same with Saffle's frame. But without, it's it's quite an investment now. Quite an investment. It's a lot harder to do them before. I don't have them anywhere. We, we showed them on stream like 5 minutes ago. I'll make a video on it. That's why I wanted to wake up like 3 a.m. today so I could make like two or three videos before starting stream. Nice short ones. Saffles so aura plus 3 plus 3 shield? True. True. But that's still like. Especially a plus shield is harder to get with um, a, a life unblock. Like, that was what was so nice in Harvest. You could do... You didn't need that, and you could do a life on block shield on top of it. That's why, like, that Blade Blast Bladefall character I had was so tanky. Because it was max block, dancing blows, life on block, uh, and the Zibakwa tank. I wouldn't... I, I think that you benefit so much from doing a big heavy 200, like a slow one. Because this is all about, like, doing one big heavy hit. You died again? I'm sorry, dude. We are friends now. The woes of hardcore. Hopefully I don't die on this ever. It's gonna be nice to get Cruel and Merc Lab. Normally I end up doing Cruel Lab in uh after doing Gruust in X7. Um especially early on, like now I could do it right now. Uh but especially early on, the reason for doing it then is then you have um a few extra skill points, like you can do all the skill points, like Sometimes I go all the way up to Arakali and right before Arakali. So I have all the skill points there. Um, so that helps a lot. And you also have at least a Granite or a Jade Flask if you're a Trickster. And having a, a Granite and a Jade while leveling makes you fairly immortal while those flasks are up. There's nothing really during the leveling process that's going to kill you. Obviously, uh, having those flasks up all the time is a bit of a, bit of a pain. But like especially the, the armor from a Granite 
basically giving you a 300 damage reduction on any hit. Spectres are really strong. Really good. There's not many degens while leveling. I can't do this just yet. Try to get the combo down on Chevron with zero lightning miss. Yeah, especially if you're in hardcore, you really want to make sure you are rest capped at all times. It does make a very, very big difference. Do you know what game I kind of want to play? Might and Magic. I miss those games so much. Haven't played it in a long time. But right now we're just blowing everything up. I'm going to show you guys a neat trick once we like finish this thing as well. That'll like speed you up by like five seconds while leveling. That's kind of like... It does take it, take, it grunt, take it for granted a little bit when you're new. But speed leveling, it's all about like improving five seconds here, five seconds there. And getting into the habit of actually caring about things that are improving your time. So I'll show you a neat little trick now that every racer uses. First you click the ignition switch on the beacon like normal. But then you run down to the bottom left corner here. And then he instantly spawns Waylam Roth. So you can just like flame dash down here. Oh, and the flame dash thing not everybody knows about either. So that helps speed you up a little bit there. There's one more life notes now. Then play them? Yeah, I think I will. It's just like I generally don't have enough time to to play that many different the games. So there, there's a lot of things I want to do. There's usually so much to do in Path of Exile too. And I mean, it is my job too, so... Like, going away from Path of Exile ends up being, like, pretty negative. Still got, like, 2k plus viewers, but, you know, it's it's worse. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting how Baldur's Gate goes. Really want to stream it on Tuesday. But that's also when Heist releases. Heist, Heist is leaving beta on Tuesday. Which I really want to play as well. I really want to play the Heist release. I wanted three. I'm not leaving until I get three. Oh, nice. You made a clip of the video settings. Awesome. Make a YouTube video about that, too. There. Is this build bug? No, 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 no. There's no bug or exploit. It's just that Call of Steel is very strong with the way we're building it. Let's see. Any more life nodes? Well, so dedicated. Man, I'd be never disappointed. There will be a trade private league at some point, yeah. We're working on something else first. A sumptuous feast for his majesty on his wedding day. Really. We are both so touched by your generosity. Okay. So, um, especially, like, now I'm, like, full res and at 1.7k HP, so it's not really a big problem, um, staying down here. But I'll show you a neat trick after this. There, and then we just phase in. But, if you're scared, or you're, or you're not really feeling up to dodging, or you're uncomfortable with the fight, you can just do this as well. And then you can put a portal, and you see that the grace period doesn't go away when you're putting a portal down. Um, and then you can skip the lightning phase entirely. If you're if you're not comfortable with the fight. A lot of people do this on day one. If you're getting here with like, you know, 800 or 1000 life uh, on hardcore, it's very, very common to like, just skip it entirely. Whoop! You died. That's a good tip. Yep, yeah, that's the point of the series. Always do remember to put on Soul of the Brian King and then just whatever after. It doesn't really matter. I usually just take two Kahama and Brian King. But Brian King is important because during leveling we don't have that much life. And that is how you get stunned a lot more. So getting like chain stunned while leveling is pretty common. Um, and, and generally that is how stuns are calculated is based on your life. So if you ever played a character with 7 or 10k life, you're barely ever getting stunned. Um, and the reason CI characters get stunned so much isn't because they have one life. It's because they don't have any percentage life nodes. Um, so the way stuns are calculated on an energy oh, shield or CI opponents? character. It's very loud. Um, is by how much life you would have without the chaos inoculation node CI. So um, 
Generally, if you've ever played an energy shield character like that, you can take off your life and you see that like 1,700 life or something. And that is what it's like calculating the stun based on. Oh, replicas. Um, also, in this zone, like this is especially good for League Start, but it'll be... We haven't seen the edge of it, but there's like a, there's like a castle in this zone. And that's where you get the, uh, there's like a quest to pick up in that castle that you get a granite or a diamond or a jade flask. So that's like super worth doing. Oh, essences. I don't think I can get special essences here, even from Delirium, but might as well like grab some. And chaos. Did you see the ball lightning specters? No, I haven't. Probably a lot of cool specters to try this thing, which is why it's weird they nerfed redemption sentries. Maybe they nerfed redemption sentries just to force us to try other ones. Yep, bandits is kill all. Only crit builds help Alera. Um, are these builds brought into late mapping, or are the play with me's more a leveling tutorial than you move on to another play with me? Um, so this is a build that I will be using on my stream as one of my core builds. And you'll see they won't be budget. Like, I'm on Soul Self Fund and I don't want to risk dying on the character. So I'm not going to, like, you know, for three or four days play on a budget. Uh, I'm just going to use anything I have. So I'll be using my, my really nice axe and stuff like that. But um, this is, like, all the all the play with me's are is they normally, like, act one to Blood Aqueduct. Uh, and then you overlevel in Blood Aqueduct. You're super fine for Act 9 and Act 10. Um... But they're like, uh, how to level nicely on these builds. And, um, yeah, basically how I do leveling. A lot of leveling tips and, and healthy tips for the game in general. And, uh, then especially, like, sometimes I don't enjoy the build that we were doing a play with me for. Uh, but when I do, then I usually end up playing quite a lot more. And then I do, like, a full build guide for them, too. Then I do a full build guide for them too, instead of just the Act 1 to 9. And then we're doing a Discharge Chieftain proliferation on Tuesday. It's just, I, I, I kept seeing, like, especially for leveling, I would see so many people uh, and content creators say, like, oh yeah, the build is fine, like, Soul Cell found, or Group found, or like, you know, you just, you don't need any items for leveling it, but they'll be leveling with, like, you know, fucking 3x items and stuff. It's like, it's fine for leveling. So I've, I've really enjoyed, like, showing people how you actually can level very, very nice with just, like, a 1c or 5c or 10c um, investment into leveling. And I really enjoy not using tabula. Because so many people will just be like, yeah, dude, just get a tabula, you're fine. Whereas tabula isn't, like, the best thing for leveling. Yeah, this should be a good Awakener killer. So that's, like, the main, like, main purpose. It's, like, targeting new players that can, like, learn a lot from this. And I know they're long videos, but... They actually do get watched a lot. I think we have one 8-hour video that has like 160,000 views. Which is pretty cool. Oh, Epilepsy Shrine. Pog. A lot of the time we don't use Gold Room either, actually. A lot of the time we like, use like only like one or two items. Let's see. You know what? We can go for the Grand Slam Jewel now. But I, I think that's very important. I like doing the same thing in my builds too. It's all about limiting expectations. Like sometimes if I do a really expensive build guide, I'll try to be very honest and be like, look, you're going to need like 80x for this build. This build doesn't work on a budget. You're screwed kind of thing. Um, instead of like, I, I feel like you always do such a big disservice, especially to new players. If you're like, yeah, dude, it works fine on 5x. And then the 5x player is like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it def definitely is not working for me. Whereas, for example, like we'll have we'll have players that are coming in and asking about like Blade Blast or asking about Essence Drain, and because I know that that build works on a budget, because I've 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 used it myself on that budget, and then we're always able to help um, fix those players. And a lot of the time, it ends up being a playstyle thing instead of like just gear that needs to be fixed, and that's like easier to fix. Yeah, Lowry. That's another thing. That's true as well. Sometimes 
somebody will make like, oh, this is just like a 30C unique. But I always try to make sure like, um, it doesn't really matter what the cost of the item is now. But let's say, let's say Voltaxic, right? I bet you that's one chaos right now, right? However, if we find a super broken build with Voltaxic, that would actually like skyrocket a lot because that is still a rare item. Or an even better example, Mjolnir. Mjolnir is really rare. So if you like, if you got like a really broken like good build with Mjolnir, it's like oh yeah, dude, super cheap five C budget build. Mjolnir is the same rarity as like Shav's Foam's Heart, um, and it doesn't have any good farmable div card. So is there are people playing ED without Contagion? I know. It is rough. Yeah, I have a Mjolnir too, so I do want to use one. That is actually going to be probably what I uh, transition the, um, I'm going to transition the, um, the, what do you call it to that? This is fun. Cool. I'm going to transition the, um, discharge into a Mjolnir build, I think. What was your reaction to Quinn's last death? It was unfortunate. Cause I, I, like, I feel bad for him cause like impulse on SSF is such a cool thing to have. People playing crypt builds without diamond flask. Yeah, and there's people using like Avatar or Fire and it's serious promises. I try to like mention a lot of things that are like common mistakes. Or like Ruthless with Chaos damage or Ruthless to Chaos. <laughs> Actually, Ruthless does do Chaos, doesn't it? It's just <laughs> no elemental, right? Baby Mac, thank you for the 51 months, dude. Thank, thank you. I'll let her off at the moment. So all you do to one shot is both Warcry's Crown Slam then Call Steel. Yep, that is all we're doing right now. That is literally it. You can see that rare? Boop. Call Steel. Thirty used Ancestral Bond back in the day and didn't play totems. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually very common too. Maybe you're leveling with totems and then you switch to Ancestral Bond and you're like, I do literally no damage. Some people don't know how you can reset zones by holding control down. I remember there was a friend of us, uh, he's a, uh, a Danish dude, and um, we noticed that like, he'd been playing, by the way, for three months. And we noticed like he kept going AFK for 15 minutes every time he got to like Blood Aqua or something like that. I can't remember where, but either way, he kept going AFK for 15 minutes all the time. We're like, Max, why do you keep going AFK? And he'd be doing this for days. Like, are you like working and playing while you're working or something? And he's like, oh no, I'm uh, I'm waiting for the sun to reset. And I just died. I just started wheezing. <laughs> and then we told him, and he's like, no, no. Why didn't you tell me? I think with a 59 month resub, dude. That's such a long time. Can't believe you sub when I lurch her off. This guy. Thank you, thank you, Sai. I appreciate it, dude. It's a long time. 60 months almost. Coming up on five years. I didn't know it's all good. Imagine using Impale Watcher's Ice. Yeah, that would be insane. Uh, we've only ascended one so far. Master Metal. And then I'm probably going to go for the Fortify next. I mean... It, it is nice to like this movement speed and stuff, but I'll, I'll go for Fortify next. We'll take that as our Urbalem. Have you tried this build, Sai? And this is normally when I ascend, like, I'll kill Groost, go pick up the skill points, and then we'll go ascend. Kinda need leech somehow, that's why we have these nodes, it's both life and mana leech. We'll go grab some, uh, get a better angle. We'll do some cries. Okay, come down, doggos. Generally moving a lot in this fight helps a lot, too. wonder if I one-shot everything. Oh, maybe I... No, I can't. I don't think he comes down until I kill the dog. Maybe they do just very slowly? I don't know. The suck is back. 
Ah, almost one shot him. We did one shot for sure with like other things around them because there's like some AoE damage. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember you showed me the chevron clip. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. And like, honestly, like, like him, this isn't going to be like the fastest build. Like you can see, it's probably going to be like the same pace as this while, uh, uh, while later. So it's not going to be like, you know, we're not going to be clearing maps in 30 seconds. Um, but it should be like a really, really strong build. High defense, really good damage. Um, and the nice thing is that you can basically do like the, the slam. Call of Steel and then run around for four seconds. Try to get like a mental note of exactly how long four seconds is. Um, because you can only do an impale every four seconds. I mean, you could just go ham on the boss with Crown Slam too without the impale part. That won't do as much as the Call of Steel is going to do. So I like putting a portal like you saw outside Grothful's cave there. Um, and then running to the next waypoint. Is what we're doing at the moment. I usually run all the way to the next one. Then I get the skill point here. And we're gonna go kill Grothkull. We're so high damage, we'll probably one shot her. I'm just running around bonking things. Marauder, go bonk. And I'll probably, like, uh, we are gonna continue playing this after, but we'll end the play with me as per usual in Blood Aqueduct Act 9. Um, just so we have a short YouTube video, then it'll be around 3, 3 or 30 or something like that. No, I don't like using Leap Slam. You could do, you could do Leap Slam and Impale and just go bonking with that too. I feel like Smoke Mine's really fast. Here's a quick, like, learning thing. So, when you see this layout, when you're, like, walking out and you see, like, there's a, there's just a gap here. This is actually the easiest layout for Val City. Uh, and if you hate this zone, this is the easiest one to remember. You just stick to the right here. Um... So you can do a little bit of like, this is the easiest layout in Path of Excel to learn because it's the only zone that has like the, the big gap there. So it's just in here. Every time. Very easy zone to learn. And you get this layout again. This is incredible. Well, there's only four or five. There's only four or five zones. Um, there's another layout where it's like here in the middle. There's one rare layout where it's really far on the left here. I feel like I always get this during play with me. Thank you, thank you, great protector. I'm gonna go grab my skill points and then we're gonna go do Grithkul through the portal. That's what we're gonna do now. Cute talk, thank you for the raid, dude. We are doing a play with me. Appreciate the host, dude. How was your stream? For those of you who don't know what the Play With Me series is, it is, um, it is the series where I basically, let's see, I think I go straight for the life build now, we don't really need more damage. Um, we, uh, level a new character on a budget and we try to over explain everything a little bit. Um, so right now we're doing the, uh, Impale Ground Slam with Call of Steel. Very, very strong. Uh, and we're gonna go, uh, one shot growth cool here. Welcome everyone. So cozy. Right, so we can go here now. Okay, we didn't one shot. Ow. Has it been four seconds? Ah! We didn't one shot. I regret this. Okay, I was hoping to one shot her. Can you explain the Call of Steel mechanic, please? Sure, so... Uh, right now we're using, we have a 100% chance to impale and we're doing uh, the impaler, which is basically you can think of it as like prolifing the impales. When your hits impale, also impale other enemies near them and inflict four additional impales on enemies you impale. Um, so this is really cool because we're, we're getting like max impale instantly and uh, they're also prolifing, right? And then pretty much after every hit, we just do Call of Steel and Call of Steel will like suck in the uh, impale, so we're giving them the suck, and then it'll like reflect the physical damage around each enemy equal to the damage of the impale of the removed one. And then we really want to have like, we want to have as slow attacks as possible and each hit being as high, because this isn't about DPS. We really have like, 
we have DP per four seconds is basically what we have in this because our, our damage really is only once every four seconds. Um, and then when you have like, you know, you do seismic cry, intimidating cry, and you do like a big bump, um, that damage is going to reflect so high. Okay, it's not max impale, but it will be max impale when there's more than one enemy there. If there's only one enemy, then it's only like four. But it's, it's a lot of impale. And then it like, it sucks it in and we get even more damage. Yeah, this should at one shot in in Conquerors. Or close to. So we get increased use speed, increased reflect damage. It's very, very strong. Keep your life to your own. Very, very strong. So it's been very enjoyable to level with so far. We've one shot a lot of the leveling bosses. Um... One from initial, four from keystone. Yeah, that's it. Five then. You're right. But it's very nice. Oh, nice hiding. That's awesome. Now we're going to go kill Arakali. Oh, actually, we could go ascend first. What does my ascendancy even do? Oh, nothing. My ascendancy does nothing. We're not even going to bother ascending. I'll, I'll ascend when I can do both. Because I'm not using fortify at all right now because I'm lazy. If I had a five link, then I could probably ascend and put in fortify. Farm armor drops? Heist. Heist and the armor uh, chests. What do you get the explosion MDX? That wonder blue or red one? No idea. It's probably higher the or something. You can see like every time we do Coal Steel right now, it wipes out everything near. And there is another one that you can do for clearing an AoE too, that is like more AoE. You know, I wonder if we get a Val Breach and we use the AoE one, then we should definitely be able to one-shot Serious Spaces uh, or Conquerors very easily. Conquerors, you'll have a full Val Breach and you can go in. You will not use your Six Thing Scythe? Nah. I the, the point of these is to like do them very, very budget so that it's easy for players that are new to the game. So we're not even using a Tabula. We're using, like, we threw uh, Essence of Contempt on the Timber Axe. Everything here is like super super cheap stuff. That's like the main purpose of my play with me is that it's easy for new players that are just starting out on Path of Exile. Um, and then we have the we have the uh, build starters. They're like useful as your first character and this is like a really really nice second or third character. But I, I like doing it on a budget still because if I can do it this well on a budget, people are doing well breach and trade. Oh nice. If you can do this well on a budget, then it's even easier to follow when you have some more items. So like, there's nothing wrong with using a tabula or something. But it's like, it's good to like show that you can do it with us. Here, q -tug, are you still here? That's Pantheon? I don't know, Solaris and Shakari maybe? That's what I usually do. People do always raid and run, that's true. Super I usually do too, I can't complain. Ow. He said no and left. What did Qtog get up to today? But yeah, once, once we get to like Blood, uh, Blood Aqueduct Act 9, we'll like ditch the budget and show how to like scale everything endgame. Um, and I'll also, I'll also show like what kind of axe to look for. Armed Incursions, nice. Because it's like, and it's just important to realize that it's not about PDPS on this build. All about like, if you can get a Jade Karu chopper that has like 700 top end. This is a better boss killer than Spectres? Hopefully. Maybe. The jewel is not limited to one. We're about to get a second one. Look at that damage. And look how little damage from everything else afterwards. In comparison. There, this is like with one cry left on Seismic Cry. Even better. Damn, almost. Almost. I'm only on a four link. Despair is decent. 
Wait, it says limited to one. Oh, no, no, no. Lord of Steel is only limited to one. I'm talking about the this one. Rapid Expansion is limited to two. So when we're about to get a second one off. Lord of Steel not being limited to one would be insane. It's already a bit too strong, probably. You can see right now as well. See that rare? Suck. This is one shot. And this, like, really, really benefits from, like, a tabular or six link. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, Malia. Let's see. It's just a great build. It's really, really enjoyable to level. I think like the most fun play with me I've done so far is the Inferno Blow with like just Space Breakers and Megan Rich Girdle. I think that's all I used. It's like so good for leveling. Hard to scale late game though. Or harder. Earthquake it has uh, two attacks. And we're getting all our Impales from one. So you can't use Earthquake. Same with Earth Shatter you don't want to use either. Ground Slam is the best one because all the damage is from the one hit. And has like the highest um, effectiveness of added damage. This should be a really good build for Sirius actually. But we haven't tried it yet. Um, I think that is a pretty good weapon for leveling 2. I don't want to use it. No, actually it's not. That's the 33 one. It's the other one that's better. One that looks like a scythe. I think it's called Reaper Scythe. I can't remember. There's a lot of good ones. I, like, generally rare are always better than unique, so. Cauterizer is insane. That also has fire damage, though. I don't really want fire damage. I want to be pure fizz. Will you use phase run for buffing your damage? Hmm. True. Phase run does have like a damage buff thing. What's the what's the phase run doing again? It's 40% more damage or something when you bring phase run. It's not quite a lot. Yeah, we will be using it. Don't need it for leveling though. 30 more. Okay, cool. That's pretty big. In game, you would be like, you would do all your cries, or you would do seismic cry, get it down to one hit, um, and then uh, do intimidating cry, and then uh, face run. I only started using it in tier 16s. Yeah, that makes sense. What kind of weapon are you using in game, Sai? Nah, it doesn't matter for what we're going to be doing. You know how some people don't like Dodri while leveling? D&D stuff. So we'll just rush now to Blood Aqueduct. Yeah, so here's here's an example of a really good weapon. This is pretty much as good as mine, even though it's a lot less DPS. Um, so if we look at the DPS of this, it is 384 plus 628 divided by 2 multiplied by attack speed. It's only 592 DPS, but it's got crazy high top end. Flaring multi-modded is better. Wow. And it, it's like, it's so like unusual because a lot of people are used to like looking for a high PDPS, like high physical damage per second, but that's not what you need in this build. You just need like really, really beefy. Sai, do you think a, um, do you think the mace type that I have is better end game for the 30% more damage from Seismic? Because I have one that's like, I think it's like 650 top end or my or something, plus it's on the... War Cry, but I think maybe a career chopper might be better just because it's so slow. No, we're not exploding mobs. We're using Call of Steel. 
Either way, like, I already have a decent weapon. If I really enjoy the build, then I'll try to craft a 83 Karu Chopper. I might do a little bit of crafting anyway for fun. Why don't you level your gems? Just did. There's no reason not to. Don't worry. You can get a 500 plus average hit weapon in software for 5C. Yeah. That's why, like, before we end, once we get to Blood Aqueduct, before we end the VOD, um, we will talk about how to get a good weapon and stuff. And what to look for in a good weapon. Because, without saying it, there's going to be people looking for PDPS weapons, which is not what you need. Very important. Don't need high DPS. Put a portal here, like I normally do. Uh, because Katarina is, like, down there. You like do like less backtracking this way. Less backtracking. Oh yeah, true. Can you ground slam with face breakers now? Or unarmed? Yeah, you can. Hmm. I wonder if face breakers is any good with this. Yeah, I remember that. Probably not better, yeah. I don't know, maybe with like Abysses and stuff, course shenanigans. Oh, true, you don't get the Impale bonus, you're right. Right, let's see. We can shove in the second one here. How big's my angle now? Wow, look at that. It's like half an earthquake. <laughs> that looks cool. It looks so cool when red. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. Wait, let me, uh... There. Alright. We're ready. We're ready. Come out, Talman. I'm ready when you are. I don't need to kill them, do I? It just comes after time. Hehe, <laughs> hehehe, goodbye. <laughs> Excellent. Full palm, maybe, I'm not sure. See you. All right, let's see. You. There, then we get the two skill points and we have to go, um, get the green gate one. I actually go to the next waypoint, actually. There. Let's go. So we're just going to rush, rushing forward and then we'll cover items. Yeah, true, remember with that. Since when is this so OP? It's because of the Call of Steel jewel. And the reworked, uh, the fact that we have Call of Steel. So it's just this thing. Watch this. Nice. We should do, um, when I have the build guide, I'm gonna try to, like, we should do, like, a highlight reel for the start of the build guide where we just try to one-shot bosses. Just like, hi -ya! Yeah, it's fine, Kaloran. Don't worry. It's just like I, I'm like ignoring a lot of messages right now while doing the play with me. <laughs> Quack. Ah, oh, just feels so good. Oh, that feels even better. Rip. <laughs> I'm horrible. All right, let's look at the last AOE. Oh. Dude, seismic is just something else, dude. Just, oh. It's already below Hardcore Pisces Nestle. It's just so nice. There, then we get Scion Life Wheel. Obviously, we don't really need any damage while leveling. Level 70 is going to be hilarious.
And I don't really have any like crazy budget gear to put on, or I mean non-budget gear to get on once I get a blood out. Uh, it's more when I get level 70, I'll probably put on a comb's heart. Um, hope I'll be able to fit a comb's heart. It might be a little tricky. Maybe I'll need on set ring instead of steel rings. We'll see. Um, but ideally I want to do a comb's heart and try to be like 8 or 9k life. It's a uh, Call of Steel and Impale and the uh, Impaler. We'll be making a full build guide for this. But if you're joining late, you're probably better off waiting for the one to go up on YouTube for this. So we're recording a video at the moment. A nice four hour video. Well, actually it won't be much longer because we're pretty much there already. I'm done with my Blade Blast. I'm going this build. Blade Blast is still very strong too, especially once you get an explosion chest. And remember, this is just during leveling. You can do this during leveling with Blade Blast too. Mm -mm. And this is just on a four length, that's true. Can't wait for this spell guide. I will try to get it out soon. Do you remember we're doing a Chieftain Discharge on Tuesday as well? Oh, and we're going to do a Man vs. Stream on Saturday. Next Saturday. I haven't done those in a while. All right, here we go. Powering up. Hiya! Ah, fuck, dude. Oh, he's covered in impales. Nice. What is man versus stream? That is an idea I have stolen from Mr. Llama SC, who invented it, and it is basically a uh sellout stream basically where you uh you set a goal like for example at ziri or kitava or something like that and you play versus the stream and stream can sabotage you so every time like people that are like holding off on sharing their resubs and stuff like that they can share their resub during that stream instead and it'll sabotage me or i'll have to like delete items play blindfolded play with my feet shit like that <laughs> Yeah, Quinn died yesterday, Abdo. There's no limit to the shamelessness. No, that's true. That is true. What a Twitch streamer would do for five bucks. It's just generally like very, very good fun. I generally do them once every three months, but I think it's been six or nine months since the last one. It's a lot of fun. Very, very fun. I haven't asked anyone yet to be the host, but yeah, I, I might ask for it only to see if she wants to. Alright, make sure you're over the waypoint here. Thank you. Um, and then we are going to go kill the blue one. Still don't get the playstyle of this build. When can I do Call of Steel? Sure, I will make like a boop sound when I use Call of Steel. Boop! 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 This is very similar to the AD Contagion. Boop! Smile while you game. Thanks so much for the three gift subs and Naroka. Thanks for the four months. Boop! Oh, I didn't even get a hit down. Boop! That's the sound of the police. Boop! Boop! <laughs> but yeah. So you generally do it every time after hitting. What was doing some? Oop. It's just one, two, ground slam, call, still repeat. Yeah. Your Herald might screw up with your setup. They proc Impale Charges, no? Hmm. I guess they do, yeah. We pro we won't be using Herald of Purity later. We won't be using it later. We'll be using Pride instead. Any whoop, man near? Whoop. 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 That better? I'm here. Oh. 
a little bit cocky. Much better. <laughs> yeah, I'm using a steel skill. Well, I mean, I'm not using a steel skill to attack with. We're only using Call of Steel. This is 100% getting nerfed next thing, though, because this is meant to be for steel skills, more importantly. Um, it's, they probably haven't intended it to be like, hey, Call of Steel works with, you know, Crown Sun. I mean, I mean, obviously it is intended because it's working, but they might be like, hmm, maybe this is a little too strong with other seals. Um, no, you can, uh, you could do this with Tornado Shot too. Because you, you just need to impale. I don't think you need, uh, I, I don't think you need to be, I think you can use this for spells or anything. I don't know if you need a, a weapon for it to work. I know I've uh, done it with a scepter, but that does, you know, technically work. Boink. Fun and spine with Call of Steel sounds nuts. The point, the problem is that you need like a big hit to do the impales generally yeah oh wait no i've already tried this with a wand so i've done this because i did call of steel with my uh with my minions i did the call of steel with minions already so i've tried that We're gonna run up and kill the boss here. Then we're gonna kill the Twisted Sisters. And then we are done with the play with me. So we're on a three hour VOD. Um, not too bad. I usually like to keep them under four hours because they're very long for YouTube. Just like a nice tutorial for the uh, for the leveling process. I will be continuing playing this character afterwards, but I'm gonna take a break and eat some food. Um, Cause I haven't eaten that much today. No, I thank you, Tava. Nope. Never do that. I never do that for the play with me. Because normally I always level up, um... I always level up here in Blood, Blood Aqueduct to level 70 in Ascend and stuff. And I, I don't want to... Like, we like we don't want to edit the VODs because they take so long to render then. Oh, wait. There. Alright, let's go boop. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about Hades. Is it infected by AoE? I don't know. I haven't tested. Got a mana of a not level? I mean, I could do that, but I'm on hardcore, so I don't feel like there's a reason to. Generally, the advice would be if you're struggling with like 9 and 10, overload to level 70 in uh, Blood Aqueduct. That's really nice. That's what I do. It is nice. Here, 2.4k life, so we're shit tons of life for entering here. Here we go. And here they go. Stop moving so much. Hello? Miss? You're in a bad spot for me. There we go. Hurry up. Wait, aren't you dead? Oh, that was the last stage. Whoops. There. I, I'm not using Valgron Slam. I'm just using a normal one. But you can use Valgron Slam. I didn't bother. Well, I should get one at some point. Do I have one? 
Um, but yeah, so this was to how to get to Blood Aqueduct. Pretty good budget, no tabula. Random weapons, and uh, with the tabula, you can just use a limb split all the way here. Um, that's what a lot of people were doing. Actually, they did that for Kitava as well. So that's obviously easier with a six thing. Um, and I do have some six things lying around. I just didn't want to use them for this. Just wanted to show off the budget part. So just remember to spam your color steel pretty much after you're hitting and then you're exploding everything. You see that it pro lives pretty far. The uh, impales. We're going to run to town here and then we're going to show how and what kind of weapons you want. So I can link me the axe again and then we can show that as well. Uh, multi modded flaring axe is really good. Um, and yeah, item level 83 Karui chopper is probably hard to beat. When actually crafting. Thanks. Let's show my weapon that I'm going to be using. Um, and a few other things. So this is a very, very good weapon. This is um, fairly cheap and easy to get. Shouldn't cost too much. It's uh, 580 DPS or something. Uh, and since it's so slow, a lot of people aren't going to want to use it. But that's what we want. We want a slow one. So you see where it says like physical damage um, up here and up to 628 damage. We want that as high as possible. So mine is actually like a lot more, like a lot more DPS, but we don't care about that. So mine's barely better than his. Mine is 10 more top end damage and 30 less low end. But um, I do also get the War Cries uh, exert an additional attack. Disfavor is not very good for this. Would not advise you seeing Disfavor now that I've seen it, because that only has 530 top end. So that should be very, very easy to. Um, Get a better weapon just by like 5 or 10 C than a disfavor. Um, let's see here. Let's take a quick look. Weapon filters. Uh, min damage. Is this the average? Do I have to search for like 350 or something or 450? What do I have to search for here? And generally axes have better impale nodes as well. Let's see. Is that searching the DPS? I don't even know what this stud is searching for. Let me see what we have to search for here. Only Tools Embrace is actually pretty badass for this. Isn't it? Only Tools Embrace is kind of baller. Isn't that actually badass for this? It's 750. It'll feel really bad clearing though. It'll be really good for bosses. But yeah, I mean, the, the slower you get, the worse it will feel for clearing. That is true. Um, but it will have like really, really high bonk damage. Yes, yeah, It's insane and 5C in trade. Right. So, only tools, very, very, very budget. Um, let's see. Oh, but this isn't physical. Where do you even search for just. Because this is PDPS. Damage per second. I don't, want, I don't want any of these. I want to search for, like, actual top end damage. Is there no, like, better way? No, we don't want to search for PDPS. Max one attack speed? I guess we could do that. Critical chance? No. Hmm. Anyway, you could just search for something like 680 or something. Or like... Not even. Like, just search for like 600. But yeah, you can look at these. And then... But even these are like... These are so high PDPS. These aren't like very high top end. You can see they're pretty low top end. It's annoying. Because these are already very expensive. These are 30C. 8X. 5X. These are annoying to search for. What the fuck's on top end? Is an average hit what matters? Yeah. It is. I guess this is probably the better. Do 650 and then do zero elemental damage. Where do I even search for elemental damage now? I, like, I feel like PoE trade is so much easier. I really have to do like... Max zero? No, that does no, no results. It's so annoying. Oh yeah, here. But we don't even want like... We don't even want max... Zero. Almost 530. 
It's so annoying to search for. Oh, hardcore heist. 15. Are any of these like high? That one's nice. This is great. Buy this one. This one's great. Um, are there like any cheap ones listed here? Like this one. This would be a great example of a really, really good and cheap one. This is corrupted, so it would be if you want to five link it, it's what, like 150 volorbs to five link it? And it doesn't have quality, but this one's actually a great pickup for 40c. It's decent attack speed, like 105. It's not gonna feel as bad as the other one. Um, but 700 top end damage. And a lot of these have like very high damage. I'm actually gonna like try to craft a career chopper real quick. I think I have one. I think I have one career chopper. So we can do perfect fossils. Do I have a, a lot of perfect fossils? We'll use one. We use one perfect fossil. Oof. Oof. Okay, you know what? We'll just like 30 quality it later. Or whatever. That's fine. Um, and we'll do like a little bit of axe crafting here at the end. Bye. On the tools and brace just feels better. Well, the problem is like, I, I do think for most people it's going to feel very bad while clearing. Uh, and like, I do have some axe crafting videos and stuff. And again, this is so good because it's so slow. Uh, and what we're looking for here, uh, pretty much just any like prefix. So I'll be, not annealed, but we'll do like tempered or flaring with a wriggle. Uh, yeah, we can beast craft once it's done, but then we we'll have to like link it with like less quality. And I have two beast crafts, I think. But you want to make sure you're done with it. And the problem is I need a six thing because I'm going to use Comb's Heart. So we're going to augment any suffix because we could like uh, wipe suffixes later with prefixes cannot be changed and do scouring. So you're just like saving alterations are so expensive that you really want to augment on every suffix. Right now we're looking for flaring, tempered, merciless, tyrannical, dictators. Those are the roles that we are looking for right now. We don't care about like crit or anything like that. Curls, if this hits something like else that is fist, that would have been decent. Now, this would actually be pretty decent for other builds. And it still would be... It is still pretty usable for me right now. I don't know if the Bone Novus will interrupt. This is actually a pretty good, like, mediocre weapon here. We can, like, just, like... Actually, this is a good way to, like, show something else. So if you ever, like, you ever don't want to waste, like, what if you already have a 600 DPS weapon and you're like, is this better? What you can do is you can open up Path of Building. So uh, now I've did Control-C in-game, and this is now in Control-V. This is no third-party thing. This is just an in-game feature that is really, really handy. So you can just, like, uh, click on Items, then Control-V, and you'll see it puts it for 480 here. And then I'm like, well, if I craft the Fist Roll that I wanted to craft, what is the highest this gets to? Uh, and with top roll, it gets 393 to 626. So I can see that this is not better than the weapon I have, so I don't bother using the 4C, right? Um, and then you could also, like, experiment with uh, seeing, like, what's the most this can divine to? Well, you can get 3% more Fizz. So you can change the Fizz here to 154, and then the in-game one. So max crafted for this is 600. And that was just Control c Control v this is just an in-game feature. Um, so I am actually going to scour this. Whereas if I hit flaring, it would have been an upgrade for me. Uh, but I already have like one that's 680. And more importantly, more, more high uh, in-game. Or a top end. We're going to continue. Champions, like almost tempting to do. But I really want to hit like flaring or... Wow, vaporizing. It's pretty rare. It's not like 10? 10, 10 wing. Yeah, we want like merciless or flaring. Probably flaring is the best thing. But yeah, we can we can craft a little bit on this. I don't want to use all my alts, but uh, use a, a few. And I honestly, I have a good weapon too. I do have a good weapon. It's not the best. It's not an axe, so we can use the impale axe nodes for a little bit more effect. But it is decent. Uh, and yields too low. And you could use um, essences too. I really don't want to use deafenings. I'd rather use these on rings. I mean, I can do one. How many more do I need? Six? We can do one more. We can do one deafening roll for the RNG, for the highlight. 
One deafening. We'll do it after I try to regal something and fail. Try to get like some decent roll at least. Then we're gonna try the uh generally I don't want to craft with deafening because I have so few. Dude, why am I not getting at least tempered or flaring? Just spamming and yield. You could upgrade with granite. It's never worth it in my opinion. So you can do the tempered with granite fasts. Can't you just press the upgrade button? But then it does all of them, which I just explained that I don't want to do. Then it does all of them. I don't know. Three, three, we can do this. Alright, didn't hit anything. Boom. Nope. That sucks. Feels bad. So that's just here's the tempered. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna end the play with me there. I hope you guys enjoyed, and then I'll hopefully have a full build guide up for this build in a few days once I've played it and then experimented with it a little bit myself. Uh, but until then, you can tune into my stream at twitch.tv slash and check it out and see me playing it live in action. I do swip, swap, swip. I do swip between a lot of builds right now. Um, so thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day and enjoying Heist. Uh, Heist is leaving beta on like Monday or Tuesday. And then try to die less than I do. <laughs>